What it good be? Hopefully, it's what it should be. This is your boy, NAO NAA. What up? It's DJ EFN. And this is Drink Chats, motherfucking Yappy Hour. Make, Make some noise! <laughs> now, when we interviewing this brother right here, I've been, um, I've been watching the progress, watching, and then I wanted to, you know, do my due diligence. I consider him a friend, but I want to do my due diligence just because he's my friend doesn't mean, or a person that I, you know, doesn't mean I'm not supposed to do the research that I'm supposed to do. So I did it, and I could see the transition. I could see him going from coming in the game just not caring to understanding that there's lives just happening. This guy is a media mogul. When you see what he built from the ground up, come from Stockholm, right? Stockton. Stockton, okay, yeah. my bad. It's all good. I was close enough, close. close. I'm, I'm dyslexic, I'm gonna blame it on dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> but the man came, dominated, has relationships with people like Floyd Mayweather. Rihanna, Dre, and our friend, friend of the show, Mr. Yezos. <laughs> the man means so much. When he covers your story, your story will be covered. Mm -hmm. So in case you don't know who the fuck we talking about, we talking about the one, the only, motherfucker Jason Lee makes some goddamn noise. Hey! Hey! Well, Jason Lee, you drinking some Ace of Spade with me. I don't give a fuck. This is, this, we don't know if you understand what our show was about. Our show was really about giving people their flowers. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So many people, that's where we started it. I know so many people use that phrase now, but we, we, we didn't invent it, but we made it popular. We realized that when you have 10 years or more in this game, what people say is, you're washed up and you're gone. And we wanted to, to big up our legends. So for you being here, we want you to know we, we look at you as a legend. We look at you as a motherfucking media mogul, and we gonna motherfucking salute your motherfucking ass in your face. But we gonna also celebrate your <laughs> ass, and that thing, and that means you can make the straight. Hey, 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 hey. I'm with so, you. No, know, you know what I will say is you're one of the few people that have always given me uh, love when you saw me to see me. The first time you saw me, I was surprised that you even knew who I was. Mm -hmm. And I and I'm I'm very humble in what I do, but I did come here today to talk my shit. Yes, you I did. Feel like this year, motherfuckers is gonna stop recognize. Playing with me. Yeah, yeah. Because I really work hard. I'm mm -hmm. black. I'm mm -hmm. gay. Let's mm -hmm. start with that. I'm Let's gay. Go. And black. And I'm out here and I started everything I from from the, from the mud. From the you know what yep. I mean? Right. And I feel like a lot of people have taken advantage of me being humble. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna be humble because that's yeah. just who I am and that's where I come from. Right. But I but I also said like this was the year 2022 where I'm gonna step it up a notch and go even harder than I ever have. And I've already started. You got a phrase that you said that I like. You said we got to cancel cancel culture. Fact. Mm. Facts. That was that was on timing. Was that on timing? Yeah. Nobody, nobody gonna make no noise for me. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that was on timing. You said you gotta cancel cancel culture. I need elaborate you, on. That. I need you to elaborate okay. on that because go ahead. But cancel culture really only exists. It only sticks for black people, right? Like mm. white people, they can get canceled today and tomorrow. They can be on a whole another mm. magazine. They mm -hmm. can be. They can have another Fortune 500 company support mm. them. I'll give you an example. That woman, Aquafina. Now, if you ever drink water, Aquafina is the worst water you're ever gonna drink. You could suck water out of a toilet and it would taste comparable to Aquafina. <laughs> There's an Asian actress named Aquafina. I don't know what she acts in because I don't look for her, but she apparently was uh, canceled on Twitter for black scent. You know, mm. using our our accent or whatever, mm. talking black, whatever the fuck that means. And then I was watching the Super Bowl today, along with all the other niggas who stopped kneeling for uh, Cap, and then uh, I saw her in a Super Bowl commercial. Wow. Now, if we do something, I ain't seen Whoopi in a Super Bowl commercial, Word. but I see Aquafina Super Bowl commercial. So cancel culture really ain't real unless it's our culture uh, it applies to, because then they, they don't just cancel us, they try to destroy us. Right. When I realized like a lot of the reporting we were doing was kind of working in tandem with that agenda, we switched it up and started mm -hmm. looking at the other side of it. Like, okay, well, if you're gonna cancel Whoopi, why Joe Rogan's still over there? That's, I think that's they my both, next question. You know what I mean? I think they Hold on, both... let's, let's get a little drink in. Let's okay. go. You let's go, let's go, God damn it. Let's go, all curve. This is a setup, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, because let me just it's tell you something. It's an open setup. <laughs> let me just tell you something. By no, the way, no, no, he, no, he, he set me up. No. He set me up because I told him <laughs> and James, yeah, I'm I, not drinking today. Yeah, yeah. But let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. Because I watched your interviews and you're very, you're very, 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 very ill. You have a very, like all of us have a, 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 a unique style to us. But what I'm saying is, but before we get into that, what is the difference between Whoopi and Joe Rogan besides the fact that, the, of the obvious, black and white? What, what's the other difference? I don't think there is any other difference. I mean, you know, we live in a world where hashtag protect black women only applies to Megan Thee Stallion when we're talking about who shot her. It doesn't mm. apply to all black women because Whoopi Goldberg, being a mm. black icon, somebody who 
from when I was a little kid, I watched every movie that she's ever done. She's won every award in every lane of the industry. She's yeah. literally one of our beacons of like what right. we all can become and stri should strive for. She literally was put on time out. Like she right. literally was sat down for two weeks. Like she's uh, on a view without a view. Right, like right. how do you put, you, she's not only on The View, she's the moderator of The View. Her mm. job is to moderate conversations that are very politically mm. charged or, or racially charged. I mean, this is the same person who walked off the set when Bill O'Reilly was doing all his shit, but again, you know, she's black and Joe Rogan is white. Joe Rogan still has not lost a dollar from what I understand. And not me. only he's not lost a dollar, but Spotify actually came out and showed support for him, Right, correct? right. That's crazy. Right. <sighs> it's not really crazy though, and that's the thing. Right. We got to stop with the selective anger and frustration with the fact that we live and exist in a white world. And until you own your own shit, like y'all own your shit, yep. until you own your own shit, you don't have that freedom. Yeah. I wake up every day, I don't yeah. feel no shackle, I don't yeah. feel no ch I don't feel no restriction. I talk to everybody from you, right. I talk to uh, leaders of the gay community, I talk to Top Dog, Whack, I talk to everybody. Yeah. And, I, and I have a very honest conversation with everybody because right. I, I own me. Right. So, um... You had this, this moment, this you, A.B., Madonna, uh, Julian Fox, Kanye, and TMZ steals your footage. Yeah. Not only they steal your footage, they don't even credit the y'all. They don't even say it's from you. Foul. Right. You actually have a lawsuit against TMZ? Well, we haven't filed it yet, but we are sending them a letter to start the process. Yeah, I mean, when's the? I mean, it's not surprising that white people steal from black people, or white people steal from black culture, <laughs> right, right. right? I mean, Harvey has been a cocksucker of mine for a long time. Holy shit! And I, I wasn't think, ready for and, that. And I don't know if it's just because he's old, or you know, he on his way out. I heard he sold TMZ, but that's what they do, right? They uh -huh. buy and trade. That's what they did to slaves too. But I ain't uh -huh. no slave, nigga. Uh -huh. And this is what I told TMZ, right? Uh -huh. You can use my content like I use yours, but there's proper crediting. Yep, there's there's right. just a culture that exists. In licensing, media. yeah, licensing, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, they posted I'm just going it. Ahead and fill you up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sit slow. <laughs> I'm gonna sit slow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, continue. But continue. no, I mean, like, there's just a proper way to handle business. We've oh, I, I, we have policies at Hollywood Unlocked on how my writers use their content. Right. You just can't take it's my courtesy. Shit. That, not only that, though, I knew how iconic right. it was. Let me tell you how I got these bitches together and set them up for a lawsuit. Right. right? Once I saw what was happening, and Ye said, "Let's all go take a photo." Because you had everybody on there from Madonna to Ye to uh, AB and even my ass, who, who was probably the least notable, but still in the in Floyd the Mayweather video. stuff and Floyd Mayweather yes. have all been canceled at some point. Really? Everybody A B canceled for taking off oh, the yeah, shirt. That's right. Floyd, they say he was a woman beater. No, not just taking off his shirt. A B did a lot more I mean, than he just did, take off. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just okay, you, know, okay, okay. you know, Floyd, who they say was a woman beater. Right. Me for throwing a drink on love and hip hop. Uh, uh, you know, yay every other day. You know, yeah, so it's I forgot like, what yay is canceled for. And Madonna, I, ain't gonna lie. I forgot. <laughs> you lost I told him, count. <laughs> I lost count. I ain't gonna just canceled. Yeah, you know? just canceled. Yeah. But, and even and, and Madonna for like you know all the stuff she was doing back in the '80s. So right. when I looked at the moment while it was happening, I was like, "Yo, this is iconic." So what I did was before I posted it, we filed for copyright to protect right. it. Mm. To, you, you, you heard this to no, protect this it, and this is what everybody who owns content should do. If you don't have a copyright attorney right. or somebody to trademark your shit, right. all my logos is trademark. Trademark, my yeah, content right. is trademark. You can take it and do what you want with it, but I'm gonna get you on the back. Because it automatically flags, right? Absolutely. Okay. There's all types of you know tools to, to manage all that shit on every platform. So we had already filed the copyright when I posted it. So when they posted it and didn't credit me, and I put them on blast, and then they then they re, they they took it down and reposted it and then credited me. I'm like, no, that ain't how it worked. Now mm. you actually just devalued this this Mona Lisa of uh -huh. a moment. And when you look back in history of what that how how dope that moment was. That's what it's going to be looked at, and now, nigga, you got to pay me. And now, what is that moment? The moment is when the just camera is just moving. It's not really content; it's just the camera just moving. Well, think I mean, about that it. That is if content. I, think about it. If I pull out my cell phone right now, this uh -huh. is content. All yeah. of us here, we right. all are here to benefit this moment. Now, right. other people outside can judge how valuable it is. There's going to be people in the comments that say, "Why are you interviewing that faggot?" Because right. I'm lit and you not. Right. Because uh, uh, I'm rich and you not. Because I'm cute and you not, <laughs> bitch. Uh, I think we're going to be annoyed that. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there, there's like, there's like people that are gonna look at this and say, oh, that, that's not valuable. But then there's other people that are gonna be like, hell yeah, that's valuable. Right. Well, guess what? We get to reap all the benefits of that value. Right. This is your shit. Right. So why do I get to be a pirate and take it? The same mm -hmm. with music, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is a person in digital content, my music is any interview I do, any piece of property I put out that I feel mm -hmm. is valuable, nigga, you're gonna pay for it or don't share it. Okay, now I'm gonna switch the subject a little sure. bit. 
after I... I'm going to sit real slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, after I... I do this every interview, right? Um, I have social media, but one of my most negative is Twitter. <laughs> so before I get a guest, I always oh, go I to saw Twitter. Oh, I Any questions say, for Jason? Any I questions saw for Jason Lee? They well, said here's, this here's what's the ironic part. I don't know if you know this. This was the ironic part. And I'm blowing something up. I don't know if I should be blowing it, but fuck it. Hey, it's, it's okay. Right? <laughs> Peter Rosenberg hits me. Really? And goes... That nigga had a question for me? <laughs> no, no, he ain't. I know he ain't got a question <laughs> for me. You're lying. So he goes... Let me take my glasses off. <laughs> so he goes, he goes, which I didn't know. Because even when I Googled you, that didn't pop up. Oh, yeah. Like, that y'all had problems. Well, because he's not important. <laughs> So, I mean, here's the deal, right? You Google me, you see my interview with Ye, yes. three billion impressions. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you see my, me, maybe me hanging out with Rihanna, mm -hmm. she's a god. Mm -hmm. uh, you see me, I mean, all the people that I associate with are, are relevant. Okay. Peter Rosenberg, a privileged ass white boy who grew up in the suburbs, got a fucking job talking about hip hop and became some guru that knows hip hop songs. You're not fucking black. And you know the problem that I have with Peter Rosenberg, before we get into all the uh. details, because I got all the TS, put all the screenshots because I know where you was going to go today. Mm -hmm. You know what's so crazy? I've looked at this nigga in his face and told him he was full of shit. What? Why are you playing a, a, around on my playground? The internet is my playground. I can make him my bitch boy because the problem now that he has a problem with me, <laughs> the problem now that he has a problem with me is that now all the little shit he ever did, if he ever wore a skirt, if he ever let, fucked some other bitch, whatever he's ever done is going to come out. Mm -hmm. Why get in a fight with me? I'm the Floyd Mayweather of the internet. Woo. But see, what happened was he chose one day to wake up in his tired-ass bed with his tired-ass life, looking at his stupid-ass dog on his way to his tired-ass job. Hot 97 ain't been hot since 97. You just and you know what's crazy? Hold on, you, you know what's crazy? Dog? I go for you know what's we never crazy? had a dog this before. You know what's crazy? <laughs> Dog. You know what's crazy? I, I, I be minding. didn't do anything to anybody, bro. Fuck that dog. <laughs> my dogs is cuter than his dogs. No, but oh, you know, shit. like I literally be minding my business. I was minding my business, and okay. here this nigga is all on social media like a bitch. Okay, so where did it start? Where did okay. it start? Yeah. Okay. Where did it start? Because yeah, we don't we don't know. <laughs> Because by the way... Mind you, and he's Drink Champs alumni too, yeah, Peter Rosenberg. Yes, yes, yes. He's been yes, on the yes, show. Yes, he's been yes, on the yes, show. Right, right. He's a privileged white boy. I'm right. sure he's been to a lot of schools. He's mm. an alumni of a lot of things, mm. but he's not an alumni as Hollywood Unlocked. Okay. But he has an open invitation. Okay, so what up. happened? So let's, right. Right. That's important what you just yeah, said. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I went... So I really don't be doing interviews because right. I'm like... I really want to go where the culture lives. This right. is important. Like, I look at, like, where I'm going in my career. This right. is important to me because right. I know how important you are to the right. culture, right? So I'm Appreciate like, yo, that. Breakfast Club here. Right. Uh, Ebro show was literally one of the worst interviews I ever did. It was tired. It was late. They were trying to gaslight me into being provocative. Like, you don't got to do that. I can give you provocative if I just open my eyes and open my heart, right? Mm -hmm. But they were trying to gaslight me, trying to get, trying to shit on Wendy Williams when really none of them niggas would have a job without her anyway. Right. Um, and I, I didn't really like the interview and thought it was boring and told my people I never wanted to go back. So, fast forward. Maybe they got wind of that. I don't know. The other day, I did Fuzzy's uh, interview. Uh, Fact podcast. Yeah, FAQ. Yeah, yeah. when did it. Yeah. And I had a great time. Like, I'm on this new, like, less tea, more cappuccino. Like, let's be positive. Right. I lost all this weight. Money right. up, weight down. I'm like, yo, let's be positive. Did a good interview. And then they posted a clip where I... you say they? You're talking about Hot 97? FAQ. No, yeah. Okay, 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 okay FAQ, right. okay. Then he went on their post and said, why are you interviewing this clown, giving him a platform? He doesn't deserve it. You know, he... Matter of fact, hold on. I actually got the motherfucking receipt. <laughs> oh, shit, she's getting real. I got the receipt. I got a whole bunch. So what he said was... But we was, believe you. Go ahead. <laughs> what, what he said was, by the way, he went on their post. This uh, is literally on a post like, I'm minding my own business. And I told him, please get off my dick and go back to work. But mm -hmm. let me tell you what he said. Oh my God. He said, that's what you say. Okay. He said, by the way, I respect you both and have for a long time. I'm just watching as we prop up yet another person who only cares about dirt, gossip, and bullshit. This dude has zero qualms about lying. He's done it to me a couple times already. Don't know why you put him on there. Shit's corny. And I said, ha, 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 don't be mad because I don't kiss your ass. You're a company man, and I'm self-made. There's a difference. P.S., here we are. Here you are commenting like a fan. Don't you have a 9 to 5 to go to? That's where it started. Right, okay. On, yeah. Now, I don't... So this is recent. This was just literally a few days yeah, ago. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I don't know what Hot 97's policies are for employees playing around on the clock. All right. But <laughs> when he's clocked in, he should mind his motherfucking business. <laughs> and then I got to thinking, like, 
It's Black Future Month. Okay, but month. hold on, hold on. Because, hold on. But what, what would have happened before that? <coughs> nothing. Nothing. Just, nothing. Y'all didn't have no... Nothing. Okay. Oh, I... So there was out one, the blue beat? Oh, wait. There, yeah. I, oh, I do think I know what it was. Okay. Okay. I went on, uh, went on the Breakfast Club, Breakfast Club to mm. talk about Karen Civil. Because, mm. you know, she tried to take me out. Right. She failed like him. Mm. Um, and when I went on the show... She, uh, they, I had went on and looked at their commentary. I, walk, mm. I watched to see what everybody was saying because you know everybody that's listening doesn't really understand the politics in the industry. There's a right. lot of, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of bullshit going on behind the scenes. You know, people right. got each other back, whatever. Right. And I'm not mad with, with that. But I look at when they play with me, I'm like, okay, I'm fair to everybody. But then if you take sides with somebody against me, then clearly you're not on, you're not on my side because you're not right. at least in, in the middle. Right. And when I looked at how they talked about what happened with Karen and I, it talk, was... Talking about Hot 97? Yes. Okay, go ahead. They recapped everything okay. that was happening. You know, Ebro, I, I know he's getting older and he has a lot of gray hair, but he was acting very hey, like... Okay, come, come on, come on, man. Come on. Did they... <laughs> did I they, die mine. Did, I they, die did, did they recap... Um, you and Karen's beef, or they recap the episode, the um, the, the episode with the Breakfast Club. Well, they're never gonna recap the Breakfast Club because okay. they're getting uh, that's beat what by I'm them. Asking. So they, they're, was, yeah, they're getting beat by them in every number, in yeah. every every area of the business. But okay. no, they recap the situation. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Okay, but they hadn't done all their research. Uh -huh. They they didn't they don't maybe they don't have a Googler, maybe they don't have a computer over there. They didn't okay. do any research, and so the way they recapped it was very watered down and it was very lazy. And that's okay. why clearly why their show is 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 falling behind uh, Power at 105 uh -huh. and the Breakfast Club. So I criticized, and I was just like, yo, this was lazy journalism. You clearly didn't do your research, um, and it was bullshit. I think that's where I heard his feelings. Mm. Yeah. And then, okay, okay, okay. And so he waited, uh -huh. you know, uh, he waited. Um, he waited, and then I guess he took this as an opportunity to jump into the conversation. So now, here we go. What I like about you is immediately you said, but you gave him your platform. Yeah. To talk on him. This is not the first time I've seen you. That he would a, have him on his yeah, have yeah, a that discrepancy. Was dope. That's dope. Like, this is not the first time I've seen you say that. Like, you have a discrepancy with somebody and then say, you know what? I'll invite you on my platform. Yeah. Now, is that solely because you can control the, the atmosphere or is that because you feel everyone deserves a voice to speak? B well, um, two. I mean, both. One, okay. one, I've already been on their show and it was lame and it was, la it was boring. <laughs> Jesus, he and they're lazy <laughs> journalists. And honestly, like... <laughs> I'm never going back to that shit show. It's trash. Uh, and I don't need it because I beat Hot 97 in the numbers on social media. I beat Peter Rosenberg in numbers on social media, my impressions, my interviews. I don't know the last time any interview they did got three billion impressions. I'm waiting for them to show me. But, you know, back to Peter Rosenberg. We can talk about the, the lazy suburban brat. Okay, he said that... Uh, what did he say? He said that when I, inter when I interviewed on their show, he said, our culture our culture. Let's talk about appropriation, mm. cultural <laughs> appropriation, because I think they let this white boy sit up there with privilege for way too long. Right. What the fuck mean, you mean our culture? We don't share this with you. Right. You don't get a job, and then all of a sudden it's your culture. You could be a part of it, but to put me and him in the same conversation, I went and looked at his Wikipedia today. By the way, it's very, very dry. All it says is he plays in WWE and fucking has a radio show. All right, my nigga, listen. I got shot in the hood. I watched my brother get his brains blown out in the hood. I've been in, my mother was a heroin addict putting heroin in her fucking veins. I've been in foster care. I've been abused. I've been molested. I've been through all types of shit. And the only dick I'm sucking is not another nigga in my lane in the industry because I don't need to. I got fucking money. I became a millionaire on my own by my own hard work. So when I look at him trying to put me and him in the same conversation, that's like putting a fucking jet in a fucking Greyhound bus in the same conversation. Right. You are what used to be. I'm what's next. Right. And the problem with a lot of these dinosaurs is they have a problem with the fact that a nigga actually built his own shit right. and demands that people respect him. You ain't pulling up because I got a booker booking him. He right. called me. Right. Yep. Just like he loves you in this yep. show, he yep. loves the fact that he learned about me in my show and the right. fact that we are fair. And when I look at Peter talking about all I do is gossip, nigga, didn't you ambush Kodak Black and have him walk up out the studio when you ambush him with the sex charges? But see, even in that interview, he said to me, he said to y'all, this is what y'all do. Y'all set us up. See, in my right. interviews, I've never had one person walk out on me. Never. I've had right. Boom Gang pull a gun on me in an interview. But just, not walk out. He pulled a gun. He pulled a gun because he was... <laughs> nah, walking out was not... He pulled a gun because <laughs> this was before he found Jesus. He was a right. crackhead. Right. You know what I mean? That's what they do. So it wasn't like... 
it wasn't like, you know what I mean, I did something to provoke him. I don't yeah. provoke it. I want you to look your best when you leave talking to me. But yeah. for him to try to paint this narrative on me is the same shit that white people do to black people all the time. But him gaslighting me on social media, he thought I was going to stop. He followed me. He tried to DM me like a bitch. I'm not doing that. You started it online. Now I'm going to make you look like a motherfucking fool. And that's exactly what he looked like. Well. Well, hopefully you and Peter Rose work it out. Yeah, I hope you guys work no, it out. No, there's no working it out. <coughs> I definitely wasn't ready for that. There's no working out. I told Hot 97, I DM'd him. I said, we are, dear management, we are no longer posting any of your content because Peter Rosenberg has been disrespectful and he's bullying us during Black History Month. Signed a boss, Jason. Okay. I ain't fucking with Hot 97 in their contest. So any other person over at Hot 97, I don't give a fuck if you interview Jesus in the next coming, nigga. Uh, You're not getting posted. Oh fuck y'all as a company. Oh not even Jesus. <laughs> not even Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, can I get a blunt? <laughs> Killing me with that smoke. Holy shit. So let me ask you, because this is something, as I'm researching you, uh, this is something that I did not know. I feel like I've been set up today. No, 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 you're good, you're good. No, in, a great way, in a great way, in a great way. In a great way. Because we're going to have fun. We're celebrating you, you know what I'm saying? Come on, I'm going to keep your ace of spade full. No. Um, <laughs> but, but, we didn't uh, get to quick time but, slime uh, yet. Yeah, we're going to get to quick time slime, then, then it's going to go. But this is something that I did not know. When I Googled you, a couple of times, you and Joe Button name was 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 like compared. Like, Yo, you know what's crazy? I'm gonna tell y'all. Let me y'all watch it right. Let me tell you about him. Okay, uh -huh. he think he fucking slick because I do this for him. <laughs> he think I'm slick. First of all, this is a fun atmosphere. Got all, the, all all the laughter disarms you. Yes. All the drink. No, nah, this nigga being messy right now. <laughs> no, 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 I swear to God, I didn't go into. But I'm it. here for all this shit. Let's go. I didn't go into it because I didn't really understand it because again. Y'all live in this, it's a, it's a totally different world that we live in. It's the same world. But, um, and when I seen that, y'all actually had back and forth. I didn't know that. So, like, like can you walk us through that? Yeah. Like, uh, okay, first let me say, um, I don't even hate Peter Rosberg. I'm going to get to Joe. I don't even hate Peter Rosberg. I just want to put a bow on that. Right. He's just really irrelevant. And I met Yolanda Adams yesterday. She knew who I was, and she said... The gospel singer? Oh, yes, okay. she knew wow. who I was. And I'm still humbled by people knowing who I am because I love her so much. Right. And she said, when she got on stage talking to the group, sometimes you got to let go and let God. So that was me letting go and letting God. I'm let, done. Yeah, okay, okay, okay Pete. Yeah, he All good. right, Joe. Okay, yeah. When I got into this world, I looked at Charlemagne the God as literally like the blueprint, and right. then I looked at Joe Budden as like a fearless ass right. shit talker. Cause I don't really, right. people think I know everybody's tea or their right. business. I really right. don't know. Like right. until I get into it with you, I really don't be looking around what you're doing. Right. When I get into it with you, then I'm all in your mama shit, I'm right. in your daddy's shit, I'm in your kids shit. I'm looking at everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe Budden, when I saw, when I started my podcast, because uh, it started as a radio show first, right? It started as a podcast. A podcast then it first. Became I thought a radio. it was a radio yeah. show. Well, you already know that because you interviewed Melissa Ford. We're going right, to get into Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's in the notes. Yeah, keep the horn okay. ready. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, you want the horn like <laughs> the she got it? Yeah, get the that's horn the ready. Notes, I'm ready. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, yeah, okay. Wait, so Joe. Joe, So yeah. I looked at Joe, and, and I remember I called Joe, and I said, yo, Joe, me, you, and Charlemagne, literally, yeah. like, we're the rebels on the podcast and shit right now, like, Three of us need to come together and just right. do one episode somewhere, anywhere. And he was like, yo, you know, that's going to be too expensive. I'm like, nigga, I'd do it for free because yeah. I'd do it for the culture. Just right. do it. Right. You know, so I saw he was on his cocky boy shit, whatever. So that we had had lunch what, one day. What point is this? Like, what year is this? This what was time? like a couple years ago. Okay. Like, we met up for lunch at the Mondrian Sky Bar in L.A. It was just a lunch right. thing. And he told me he respected me. And I, of course, respected him and what he did, right. you know what I mean, in the podcast world. Mm -hmm. I had been on the Breakfast Club like three times by that point. So, like, I had... Uh, had affection. Uh -huh. I had affection for what Charlemagne did and was right. following the blueprint. And never approached Charlemagne about it because they they always had some weird shit going on, you know. And then I saw they did some on Revolt together. We talking about um, Joe and Joe um, and Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Okay, they yeah. always had some weird relationship. But then I saw they did some on Revolt, and I'm like, okay, well now all you gotta do is add me, and we could do something. But I love how he says Revolt. <laughs> he don't say Revolt. But go ahead, go ahead. We gonna get to that later too. Oh. I got, it's in the notes. It's in the, it's in the That's notes. In your it's, notes? In the, it's in the notes. Yes, yeah. it's in the notes. Yeah, I, mean, I did my research. Yeah. Go ahead. But, but, but as you're gonna start, I hope everybody watching, everybody watching at home, I I hope that I pray right. that you're that you're witnessing that I am. A victim. It is always one. It's always one-sided. Mm. Like, look it. Peter was one. I was doing an interview. I got attacked. Right. This situation I'm about to explain to you. I got attacked. The next thing. I just hope everybody pays attention. There's a lot of people gonna be in the comments saying, "Fuck him. He's a troublemaker. He's a right. because whatever." But I'm just right. telling you, pay attention. Okay. Cool. I have lunch with Joe. He likes me. I like him. We get in COVID. 
I, so it's 2019 now. Okay. You got to rephrase that because the way I said, I like Joe, I like Joe, we get in COVID. No, no, no I mean, not, <laughs> we, no, we get in like, COVID together. Yeah, yeah. He's not my like, type. He doesn't oh, have good skin. Oh so, God. so look, so, so, so we have COVID, we have COVID happening, okay. right? So we all locked in our houses and he agreed to do like a live interview with me on Instagram. It wasn't like no real shit. It was just an Instagram thing. But I was honored because he's Joe Budden and he at the time, Five. at the time he was a, he was a Five. premier podcaster, uh-huh. you know? So... I interview him, and then, I mean, we do that thing, and then that's really it. That's the, that's the nature of our relationship. One lunch where I had probably a Caesar salad and an Instagram live during COVID. That's right. it. Right. Maybe a text here and there, but no, we're not friends. Right. We're right. not like me and Floyd right. or me right. and Cardi. Acquaintances right. if, at best. Yeah, right. we're just, we just acquaintances, right. and we're right. in the same industry, okay? Right. So I get a call one day from Tahiri who says she wants to come on my show. Mm. Okay, well, what are we going to talk about? Let me talk to my producer. She starts talking to my producer, and then... She's talking to my producer, whatever she wants to talk about. And whatever she wants to talk about is cool. It has nothing to do with Joe. Mm -hmm. When we get on the show, she gets to talking, and she basically says Joe beat her ass and kicked her down some stairs, allegedly, or whatever. Now, this is her interview, just like Mm -hmm. this is my interview. Mm -hmm. You might have a relationship with Peter Rosenberg, but you're giving me the respect of saying what I want to say. That's what makes this a great show. I'm not a publicist. I am a fucking podcaster, broadcaster, multimedia person. So in the interview while she's saying, I'm like, oh, shit, like, right. this, is, this is a lot. Right. But I let her tell her story. Right. So after I tell her story, I did think, like, should I call Joe and give him a heads up? Because mm-hmm. I just had a lunch. And no, we had lunch a while ago. Okay, okay, all right. I don't even know who I had lunch with two weeks ago. Right. Like, you <laughs> right. know what I mean? Right. So, like, I thought about it, but I was like, nah, because then if he goes live right. and he starts attacking her... Right. Then it looks like I gave him the heads right. up right. when a woman was saying she... Then it's like all these... Poly- yep. You got to think about yeah. how the internet going to act. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. Right. Well, I happened to release it on his birthday. Mm. I don't know Whoa. his birthday. I don't... He's not in my birthday calendar. Right, right. He's not in my Zodiac chart. I don't know nothing about that. Right. He gets pissed and he goes on his show and he basically says, lose my number, nigga. Like the way you say to somebody after you fuck them. Like, lose my number, nigga. Right. Like, he, basically, like, I was a bitch. Like, lose my number, nigga. Like... <laughs> Delete. <laughs> I got Rihanna's number, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your number, nigga. I got the weekend's number. I don't give a fuck about your number. I have never even had a nigga I fuck call me and say, lose my number. How the fuck? Lo- delete it. So I deleted his number. And that was it for me. And I went on my show and I basically said, like, nigga, that was lame. That's it. Now, when the Karen Civil shit went down, he popped up kind of supporting her. Well, it makes sense. Mm. She's a part of his podcast network. Well, but there's a lot of people who supported Karen, though, at that time. But yeah. let's, let's just let's finish with Joe. And then a I'm lot of people get... supported Hillary Clinton, and she lost. Jesus. You know, like, losers <laughs> have support, too. And I looked at all that support as, like, y'all all laying your line down, right? <laughs> Sorry. Losers have support. I'm sorry. I'm fucking winning out here. All my shit is up. So when I look at the losers supporting a loser, I'm like, bitch, you're going to need me because you're going to fuck a bitch you're not supposed to, nigga, and you're not going to want me to say nothing, and I'm going to tell it, and I'm going to DM it to your bitch. So, so it's like, like for me, for me, I would just be like, yo, I don't know what's going on with you and that nigga over there, but I'm not in that. That's a smart man. Any nigga who wants to get on that, cool, not a problem. Your taxes better be in line, nigga. Your fucking shit better be buttoned up, because when I find it, and I've had a record of being petty. I'm trying to be better, and I pray every day to the Lord. <laughs> but sometimes he don't answer my calls. You know what I mean? <laughs> you so talking like, about God. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not your button. Not your button. Okay. All right. No. I told, wait, I told, I told Yolanda Adams yesterday, I said, you know, your song, um, uh, The Battle Is Not Yours, It's The Lord's, is one of my favorite songs. Mm. But there are some battles that I say, no, nigga, this one belongs to me. Right, right. <laughs> so when it comes to Joe... I never hated Joe. I still don't hate Joe. Joe is irrelevant in the Hollywood Unlocked space. He lost his podcast co-host. I guess there was some money shit. They all didn't get their money. Ain't that horrible when you get to school and your lunch money got took from a bully? I don't know what happened with them because the way we handled our business, everybody got paid. Not didn't make everybody stay, clearly, as you know. But, you know, everybody got paid. And I look at it like, yo, but that's the fucking narcissism in Joe Budden, that your world is so convoluted by the bullshit that you don't realize, nigga, you're losing everything. Girl said you beat her. Not the first one. Mm -hmm. Then your podcast host left, and then I'm the bad guy because it happened to come out on your birthday because I didn't actually have it in my calendar. 
I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more question, then we're going to move on to quick time. With sure. <laughs> okay, now... Am I doing good so far? No, you're doing fantastic. You know what? Are you having fun? I'm yes, having a great time. Okay. That's it. I'm going to blame what? it on the alcohol. Okay, you you know what? Um, let me ask you. Okay, all right. I'm going to ask you the demi on one. You, you got a quick time with slime ready? Okay, all right. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Um, take, take your time with quick time? Yeah, take your time with quick time with slime. Okay. <laughs> you develop these relationships, right, with these people, yeah. right? Uh, some people you say, because I, I see Envy say to you, he's like, yo, I called you to thank you. And y'all never spoke about what y'all was thinking of, but I read in between the lines, and I could see that it was something that you could have probably blew up, or you could have mentioned, or whatever, and you didn't, or whatever, right? We, we did mention it, but we mentioned it very fair. Okay, very fair. When other people were not. Okay. So I, I don't know what that is, and I, it, 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 doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter, because y'all didn't say it on there. Yeah. But have you ever, has a friendship ever came into the line of the story? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like... That got in the way of the Yeah, story? that got in the way. Yeah, like... Yeah, uh, I'll give you an example. Like, this week... <laughs> my friend's over here shaking his head because I write about him, too. I mean, you know, and he calls. He's threatening me. You, know, he's you write about your friend? <laughs> yeah. But listen, he's in the spotlight. Yeah, he's on Love & Hip Hop. This is why I tell everybody... This is what Rihanna said to me when she met me, and this is why I love her. Not just because she is the most beautiful... And she smells good. She smells amazing. And congratulations to yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Lo love her. You too. Oh, because the baby? Yeah. We're, we're, it's all of ours. Right, right. I'm, I'm the guy. We got ASAP Rocky coming, too, right? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, amazing. Okay, cool. okay, so and I love Rocky. All right, so, um, so yeah, the first thing well, she, the first thing you. she said to me was she said, um, I know that it's hard. She said, I know um, that it's hard with somebody like me being friends with somebody like you and having a friendship. But as a businesswoman, I respect how you built your brand. That's how she started our relationship. Right, right. And I and it was it was the first time in a long time that I felt like a celebrity actually saw me as a person, didn't right. see me as a tool to use to promote right, something like or tool. You, you know what I mean? And y'all know, right? But, yeah. but, but sorry to cut you off. But let me ask you something yeah. in that situation right there. What if you knew? Rihanna was pregnant and who she was pregnant by, and this, this, this dating rumors of them wasn't out. But this is the this is the funny thing. So would, would you have would you have blew that up? This is the funny thing. And when Rocky comes, ask him that question okay. because when we were together in New York at the Savage Fenty party. It was some about their energy that I felt, baby, and I mm. and I literally have this thing where I can manifest, or I see, or I feel, I feel stuff because I'm a, I'm an empath and I'm an energy person. I go off people's energy, right? Mm. right. I when when Rocky was kind of to the side, I looked at her. I said, "Are you you y'all y'all trying to have a baby or something? You pregnant?" Right. Right. She was like, "No, no, no." I said, "Well, do you want to have a baby?" She said, "Well, if it's meant to be, you know what I mean. Right. We'll do it." I said, "What about marriage?" You know, she was like, "You know," and she said what she said, but we we kind of talked about the baby thing, right? So we leave after that. Um, I, I'm hitting her like, you know, you say you was going to come over to the house. Right. Or are you coming over? And she's like, oh, I'm out of town. I'm like, okay, well, where are you at? New York. I fly to New York. Right. I'm in New York, too. Where are you at? Oh, I'm going to Barbados. Right. So I'm like, girl, are you trying to dodge me now? So now I start right. thinking Rhea's up to something. Right. So she invites me. So I think she thought I was on to her. So she invited me to a photo shoot. When I get to the photo shoot, she's kind of covering up a little bit. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking at And she's not drinking, but they're giving right. me drinks. Right. So then I... <laughs> they throw you off the path. Yeah. So yeah. I call her one day and I say, Rhea, listen, I just want to say... If you're pregnant, I promise you, I won't even tell the world. Like, right. I won't tell nobody. And she was like, oh, no. Rocky and I talked about it. You'll be the first to know. And right. I felt it was bullshit. I was like, you right. bullshitting. Right. But I love her so much, she could lie to me in my face. I wouldn't care. Okay, but has the, right, so that, yeah, but that's the... But let me tell you what okay, happened. Yeah, so please. then please. I try to link up with her a few times, and she don't link. Right. So when she went, when the pregnancy came out, she sent me the photo first, sent me the photo after it broke, and she said, "Me and Rocky talked about this, and we were supposed to let you know first, but I am pregnant." Blah blah blah. The point is, even the people I'm the closest to still feel that they got to be careful, which I respect. Right. But they still give me dignity. Like right. I'm not an animal. You know what I mean? Like right. I'm not searching for a story because right. I right. get the stories all day. Right. So like, if you ever in the studio and you chilling, and so you happen to walk into a room and you see a whoop de whoop. -de -whoop no, we're gonna no. Whoop -whoop. So I have yeah. rules. Here's my rules. No um, outing? We, no outing. Okay. Um, we don't uh, attack children. And right. then uh, private time is private time. Mm. Okay. So if I'm in your private, if you bring me into your private space, I respect right. that. And I'm not going, I don't, I don't even, I tell my friends, leave your phone in the cars, leave right. your phone in your pockets, don't know Those social media, you know. And then when they come in my personal space, it's still personal time. There's none of that, right, you know what I mean? Right. But I also have to be very clear. Don't party with me and think all of a sudden that the shit you do on the internet is a secret. Right. Because it's, right. if you put it out there, like, or or you do something, like, like Karen allegedly stealing all that money 
That's where she got mad. She got can, mad because she, can we, can we she got mad. Right no, wait, now? no, I'm going to ask you a question. He asked the question, right? Okay. She got mad because she thought she was my friend and right. the little shit she was doing to take little nigga money, right. allegedly, right. Uh, was I was supposed to keep it a secret. Right. Why? Because I had a credit repair company. We, we, we fixed your badass credit because we right. lived in the same building because we see each other at the mailbox. Right. No, I liked you. I even, Okay, I loved Karen Civil, but she was a thief. Right. That's what they were saying. Right. Well, I'm not supposed to do my job? Uh, no, I'm not a co-conspirator. Y'all know what that is. When you're in a car with somebody do a drive-by, you choose not to say... Nobody got to do a drive-by. <laughs> when she drove by and took that money, that was a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a car, you're guilty too. Right, right. Allegedly. All right, let me ask you, this is one more thing before we get into quick time with Sly. Because I've noticed, like, there's been people that, that been get mad at me like, you see how you say a joke just now? Yeah. I've been trying to keep my straight face the whole yeah, time. Yeah, we, we just laugh at because something. It's, there's it's been really? people that, yeah, 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 there's people that come at me like, You know why? Because Yo. your voice matters. That's why. No, but hold on. Let me ask you. Like, and there's people that I do have relationships with, and they're like, why'd you laugh like that? I'm like, the way I laugh offended you? And have you ever gone through that? Like, let's suppose someone came on your I, show, dissed someone else, and you... You kind of like... You ever, I think no. people pretty much write me off as a mess, like, fuck him, you know, <laughs> okay, like, fuck okay, that okay. guy. He, you okay. know, at least behind my back. Fuck him, he's going to mm -hmm. say whatever, because I, they already know mm -hmm. I'm going to laugh. If it's right. funny, it's fucking funny. Mm -hmm. I think the reason, because, you know, you also have a different seat. Like, mm -hmm. you're important. Mm -hmm. You're an important imprint in hip-hop. Like, you. You, your legacy matters beyond... Mm -hmm what's happening in the blogosphere right now. And so right. your voice travels very differently than mine. Mine is I started being messy. And, and I started being messy because, honestly, nobody gave me a fair chance. Like, nobody right. fucked with me when I was trying to do the whole, let's be friends and talk about your fashion. And right. your, like, it was like, nah, we're not coming over there. I was like, okay, your man ugly, your kid ain't here, you this, your music <laughs> whack, fuck your line, fuck your show, your numbers is low, you're horrible, you're fat. I was, then I had to. Because, see, you know what? They didn't respect your numbers me. went up. What? And when the numbers went up, I was like, let's fucking go. And God wasn't answering then either, right? God, God was like, nigga, that's just disconnected, nigga. Like, no. But, you know, honestly, like, I didn't even want to be that guy. The industry forced me into that. Right. You, right. you're too respected and too loved to be that. So anything that looks outside the box for you would be criticized. Right. But who cares? You're winning. Yeah, yeah thank you. Take out that. Make some noise for that. Okay. So this is called Quick Time yeah, with Sly. Let's give this box before we oh, do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yo, Where's listen, that, listen. Well, I gotta listen, get, by the way, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yo, I got to step my, we, I gotta we, step my show We got to give you your flowers while you're here. Like we said, like I said, you mean so much to the culture. You're a music mogul. You've been monkey footing and kicking down the doors on your own, built this shit on your own. So we literally wanted to give you your own motherfucking flowers. Oh, God damn. Shout out to What the Flowers. Shout out to What the Flowers. Yes, yes. Yo, yo. Motherfucking Those last yo. forever. Yo, yes. Charlemagne, step your fucking <laughs> game up. <laughs> Nigga, I've been on your show four <laughs> times and I ain't got yo. shit. I got drinks and some roses. Yes, yes. And, and according to our, 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 our contract, we also got us a rock bottle for you, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get We'll get to that later. There's two different companies. Two different companies. But can I say you can't something? be mad at one no, and no, no, be mad at the other. about this one? Okay. Okay. Which camera am I? That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puffy. <laughs> now, I texted you the other day, and you didn't text me back. Now, I know you're going to see this, love. <laughs> So let me say this. When y'all launched the Blackberry bottle, mm. I let y'all do that for Cardi B's surprise birthday party. I got mm. several millions impressions, and mm. I didn't even take a dollar for it because I loved Ciroc, and I loved you. And your people failed to call me to even say thank you. Mm. Like, see, the thing about it is they've been shitting on me for a long time, but now 2022, no more. I said the other day, I got bulletproof windows at my house now. I will lock myself... <laughs> I Not will, even impact window. He got bulletproof. I got my AR-15. I got all my rifles and pistols and my, my, license, my stuff. I said, I would just lock myself in my house now right. and just do my job because, like... Bridge building is not easy in this business. Mm -hmm. Like, especially when you start for yourself. Like, I have no political ties to nobody. I right. literally wake up every day and just don't give a fuck, right? right? I care, but I don't give a fuck. I care about people, but at the end of the day, if you're not fucking me, I don't give a fuck. So I look at, like, Ciroc being a symbol of, like... Uh, uh, what greatness a, of of what a man yes. could become yes. okay. from like Puff's story is right. like a story that I follow right. Mm -hmm. This is a man who had passion, determination. He took no for he did not take no for an answer. Yep. He built. He a, dated J Lo. 
I mean, he he was in the club with J-Lo in a shootout. In a shootout. James I mean, Cruz was there somebody too. else went to jail for it. <laughs> Shout out to Shine, who was here, too. He's a Dream somebody, Chance alumni. Somebody else went to jail for it. But you know but you know what, though? Come outside, James. Record. But you know what? No no shade, though. When when, when you hanging out with the richest person in the room or your, your guy, right. you're supposed to take the L for him. So, I mean, I don't even want to get into that. Yeah, we had Shine. We had Shine here, too. Yeah. Yeah. You've had everybody because they fuck with you. So, um, boom, Wait, so we answered that, yeah. right? Okay. okay. I think so I now this is called Quick Time with Slime, all right? Okay. This is how the game goes. Explain it clearly to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm so ready to move on to these other questions, so we're going to try to run through this fast. Take your time. I got time. But, uh, yeah, thank you, because we're going <laughs> to run through it. We still got to get to my co-host that was up oh, there. Yes. That, oh, yes. Oh, that's the very next, right after this. We're trying uh, to get you okay. more. This is like we we try to get you more drunker, okay? Oh, got all it. All right, so, so that's why I had to, so Rock, you, you, listen, so, all right, so let me explain the game. <laughs> it's one or the other, right? Yeah. If you pick both, you take a shot. Okay. Of your choice. We can have, we got Japanese whiskey, we got Ciroc, we got Douce. If you're politically black correct owned. in your answer. If you're politically I'm not going to be politically correct. Correct. Yeah, right. so yeah. But we, we're going to set But it we up drink with you if you we are. We drink with you correct. if you. Okay. Like if it's, it's, if it's people that you like, both of them that you like, and you want to drink. It, I'm not going to be politically correct. Okay, all right, cool. So then you won't be drinking, but. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm going to pour I'm a, a shot just in case. I'm going to do a shot just in case. Yeah, get a shot glass ready Wait, just in case. Wait, do y'all have um, Reposado? Reposado. We, we, can, we have some in the bar back there. We will make it happen. We have De Leon. You want awesome. Mama Juana? Dominican Mama Juana? Come on, Jason Lee Black. Oh, Fine, fuck black it. Yes, yes, okay. okay. That's right. Our job is done, baby. We, get, we got the guests to drink De Leon, baby. Okay. Hold I on. fuck bring, with De Leon, though. Bring that De Leon. Uh, whatever he want. Figure it out. Yeah, okay. Nice. Now, this I is the part of the Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We just, you know, right, leave it right there. Okay, this is the part of this is this is every fan's favorite part of the game. Okay. And by the way, you're the first openly gay yeah. person that paid that played this game. Because there's been other gays on here. Has it who, just, who else? I don't, been know, I don't know. We're gonna ask you after this game. You think? Well, <laughs> lay the names on the table. I'll go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really think so? No, you know what's nah, so crazy? Know. I, I know. never so. really thought out my career. My career has fucked up my dating life. Cause I really I like I like dating DL guys. So like I but they won't fuck with me now because of my job. <laughs> right, right. Like okay. damn, like nigga, okay, I'm not on. gonna tell on y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ready? This guy is so great. Like I can't. <laughs> I'll even send your bitch know, flowers, nigga. Oh, I'm... shit. <laughs> I know why your shit is working. Oh, That's... shit. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Biggie or Big Pun? Biggie. Podcast or radio? Podcast. Kanye or Pharrell? Kanye. Fab or Pusha? You know what? I'm not familiar with either really like that, so... That's a shot. That's a, a shot. shot. Either is oh. a shot. <laughs> Neither or Fab. both. Fab. <laughs> no, 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 no. Both. Like, Wait, if you say both, that's uh, a... <laughs> yeah, if you say or, both or neither. Or neither, yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck that. No more shots after this. <laughs> fuck that. Y'all niggas, y'all, it's the game. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, let me get my own. Um, Come on, you're supposed ready. to be ready for this. Yeah, I should have had this. Damn, I, y'all I, got I, real liquor in here. Y'all yeah, need to... Yeah, we're not playing around. <laughs> we need to step up No one. No wonder Melissa spoke on me in public. Oh, yeah, hold on. believe it. Hold on, hold on. The fucking liquor. Salud. And this is to your career. Thank you. To everything cheers, you do. Cheers, we cheers, respect cheers. you. We love you over here. Thank you. Yeah, that's the last shot I'm taking. Fuck that. Let's go. Queen La Tifa, MC Light. Queen La motherfucking Tifa. I knew he was gonna we need both of them on drink chance, by the way. Both of them. You've had them No, we need both of them. Yeah. Dana don't answer her phone, so. Call that. That's how you know. He's, he's, yeah, yeah. he's getting money. It. He didn't even call a uh, Latifa. He called yeah. a Dana. He, that's a, he, you get Can a you tell Dana to call at us, please? I'll tell I would call her. Kodak Black or Little Baby? Little Baby. Source or XXL? Well, Source, because they're legendary. Source, I'm with the Source, because they're legendary. Now, this is a little controversy. Cardi B. What the fuck? That was what he was. I, that's what the question cause, was. Cause Nikki, that, cause that's my bitch, and he I just got LASIK. He saw that oh, shit. Yo, no, 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 because I already no, know. No, I already know. My job is to predict the next nigga's move. Yo! That's my job. Yeah, I'm fully impressed, bro. That's my I'm job. fully impressed. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Hold that up, good. hold up. That, yo, that's a I'm gonna take scary. a shot just because of that. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm taking a shot just because of that too. That's you don't my got job. to. Holy no, but that's shit. my job. All right, because I need to understand. That's my next question when we get out of this. 
Cardi Wait, think you don't like her. Is that true? Who, me? Who? Yeah, Cardi she B? Told, she Cardi. told me she don't think you like her. Oh, that's definitely a rumor. You got me. Nah, confused. we love she Cardi said, B on the She here. told me that. No, that's crazy. I said, th I said there's I no her way. I first video. You want to put up Tyler Al? Okay. Put up nah, we love Cardi B over here. Can we get Cardi here? Yes, please. We would love Cardi here. Let me call her right now. Hold on. Don't put it on the spot in case you do think I don't like her. I'm calling her right now. I don't want to be calling her right now. Calling it right, motherfucker, now. <laughs> and, and I just, uh, was hell yeah, we offset. would love to have her on the show. Hell yeah. Yo, I'm here with Nori, and he say he loves you, so Yo, we clearing the air right, motherfucker, now. Say hello to Carter. <laughs> we can't see your face. We can't see your face. We clearing the air right now. Yeah. I said. <laughs> Tell her we got some Mama Juana for her. Yeah. Yo, we love you over here, Cardi. We would love for you to come and drink chance anytime you're ready. All right, but instead of liquor, we're going to smoke cigarettes. Oh, well, cigarettes? Yes. Coño. No, no, no. We're not doing no cigarettes. <laughs> I've never been before <laughs> like this before. Uh, that's another cigarette, podcast. Cigarette, cigarette champs. Okay, all right, cigarette champs. We'll be here. We'll be, no problem. Uh, I'm going to call you back. I'm all right, call Cardi. You back. All right. All right. Let's make some noise for Cardi. Yeah. Yeah. But see that right there, that's Hollywood Unlocked. We get straight to the motherfucking heat. Like, we get straight to it. And that's why people hate me, because I'm not waiting to see what the fuck the Shade Room and everybody doing. Y'all do that. I'm going to create the news. And we're going to get Cardi here, and I'm going to come and that drink with you. That is fire. Let's do it. That was hard right there, by the way. And uh, Tupac or DMX? Tupac. OK. Miami or LA? Miami. LA I'm taking is, a shot because I thought you was going to take it. I say nah, LA. No, no, so. listen, LA is where I live and where I make my money, but it's a fake ass city and I'm not fucking with those people out there like that. We're gonna get Let me to tell you what I love about Miami. Miami is sexy. I got to the hotel today. I walked outside, I looked at the water. Mm -hmm. I hit my nigga. I said, yo, I need a boat on third Wednesday. Uh -huh. I just love the vibe here. I like going to prime. I like the club. Shout out to my boy Prince right here. Like all the clubs out here are lit. The people are beautiful. And I really feel like it's the East Coast vibe of either Miami or New York. Mm. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. We either fuck with you or we don't. We either mm. want to work with you or we don't. And we want to have a good time and have sex and get drunk and get high. Like, that L.A., did. they be like, what you do for a living? <laughs> Bitch, make more money than you. <laughs> okay, Dre or Puff? Mm. Take a shot. No, nope. no, 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 no. Um, you know what? Damn. Yeah, I'm going to take a shot. You know what's crazy? I, love it. I like that. I'm going to take like a that. shot. I'm going to take like a shot that. only like because that. out of respect for both, they both icons. So. They're both icons. That's, that was the correct answer. Even though answer. Puff don't return his phone calls, maybe we, his phone We're going to make work. this right with Revolt. <laughs> Revolt? <laughs> he say Revolt. What? He, I like how you pronounce it. Cheers. <laughs> Salud. Okay, this is the last shot. So anything y'all say now, I'm just fucking answering. All right, cool. All right, hold on. Damn. Oh, this, was, this, is, this is great. Fucking this is great up. information. Right. This is great information. All right, um... Fat Joe or Rick Ross? Yo, you're a problem too. I'm gonna tell you why, because he's a nice guy. Right. You, he, you sit the you sit the guests across from him to disarm them where they like, oh he cool as shit, man. Like, fuck with him. And then you over here throwing this messy shit at him in a nice way. He so cool like, and everything. Yeah, yeah, like he like, well, I got gray hair, like Stop oh, thinking of yourself. Stop thinking of yourself, Jason. I love right. the show. Love from it. Rick Ross or Fat Joe. You know what? I, damn, I love them both. Fuck. All right. Okay. Wait. Wait. On, wait, last wait, one. wait. Wait. Every guest always How many said. more questions? Because my eyes are getting heavy. <laughs> All right. That's like uh, like five more. Damn. Yeah, okay. It, it, I'm it answering ain't every fucking question after this. Fuck it. This is it. It ain't that hard. Don't worry this about it. This is it. Nah, for real. We no, don't worry about you. it, nigga. And then, and, then, and then when I burn the internet down, <laughs> lose every deal. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I got you, bro. I got you. You know, they warned me about the show. They were my publicist was like, uh. Salute. You should probably just not do that. That means we're doing something right. That means we're doing something okay, right. Okay, that's it. Fuck it. Yeah, it was okay. called Burner Internet. We, we, had, we, had, we had Yeah and Alicia Keys sitting in that same chair. And um, yeah, we got them drunk as shit. Yeah. Um, I love you, Alicia. Missy or Eve? Missy. ASAP, Rocky, or Travis Scott? Rocky. I'm riding, I'm riding with Rocky. MTV Raps or Rap City? MTV Raps because they came back and my boy Conceited is doing it. Okay. Balenciaga or Fendi? I knew that question. I knew that answer. Joe Buttons or Million Dollars Worth of Game? Oh, fuck with Million Dollars Worth of Game. <laughs> right. All right. All right. 
right. <laughs> and you know, people don't know, I book Floyd Mayweather for their shit. Like, people wow. don't even be knowing what I be doing behind the scenes. They just mm, think I'm mm, his tea spilling thing. Dope. You know, and they had a great show with him, so shout out to them. Yep, big them up. Carbones or Prime 112? Be careful. <laughs> the, be, uh, I, I, you know, shot, no, listen. Be, I know Carbone is your spot, yeah, and, I, yeah. and I do want to go. I feel like you're going wrong. Wait, and I, I do, like and I do want to go there tonight right. because it's a nigga in there I'm trying to date. <laughs> oh, God, <shit. laughs> listen, I, I have no problem dating the server. Y'all got a problem with the service industry? Okay. That's not y'all. Okay. okay, look, um, I got shot. Prime One Twelve always take care of me though. I haven't been there. No, Miles, the owner. Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. Shout out to Derek, bad. too. Yeah, Derek's the homie. Okay. <laughs> I want to go to Carbone tonight, though. Okay, we're we, we going to pull up. Okay. Rihanna? Rihanna. Don't care. <laughs> Don't say Beyonce, Rihanna. It was Beyonce. I love Beyonce, but Rihanna. Okay. Why? Because I love Beyonce, but she's never going to fuck with me the way Rihanna does. On some real, like, genuine, just, I love you and I want to know you. And you smoked blunts with Rihanna before? I'm not smoked blunts with her, but I would smoke blunts, and I told Rihanna, she the only one that'll make me... Go back? Actually, I had a threesome with a nigga and a girl the other day, which was kind of weird. But I would, I would... <laughs> I don't be ready for nothing. I shit. would, <laughs> like, some about Rihanna, and this, and I tell her this, too, and we be talking about it. ASAP probably don't want you around at no, all. No, ASAP loves me. <laughs> okay, yeah. But the way you talking right now, no, I ain't no, gonna No, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'll fight that nigga for her. <laughs> right, right. But, <laughs> nah, I love Rocky. Like, yeah. I really love, I love both of them, and I love them together. And honestly, I said to them, like, like I'm so happy for both of them. Right. But the thing about Rhea is, um, she, got, she got BDE. Like, she really is, like... She's beautiful and she smells good and she's delicate as a woman, but she really like she, I don't know. I, I I told her like you like a nigga to me, so right. cause she yeah. smoked blunts. She's like a like, yeah. To smoke blunts, you got to be like a little fucked up in the head. She cool. She I ain't say that as I'm smoking a blunt. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? She's I don't know. She you you met her. I've never I met her. I've met the early wee wee. I met what was her song DJ. The hell long? That long? I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a. Uh, what I love about her is she's she everything, bro. Like Rocky. I tell you, I tell you, the Rocky party don't I went fuck to, it up. It was her and Tiana Taylor, and that night Tiana Taylor was the big was the big girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah Someone yeah. else said this party too about this party, and I told him I was there. But it was a Def Jam party, and Tiana Taylor was the headliner, and people were looking over Riri. It was really? crazy. Cyber sounds. Were, was Rihanna? Uh, I think Cypher said it. Yeah, he said. I think. Yeah, I think Cypher yeah. Sound wow. said it on, on this show. Shout out, was, to, shout out to Tiana too. I love her too. And it was amazing. All right, this is the last one. Oh, I can't drink no more because no, I. No, feel this is the last one. This, this is actually. It's not really a trick question. It's actually not a trick. It's question. not. It's actually. Everyone thinks it's a trick question, but it's not. Loyalty uh -huh. or respect. Damn. Um... You know what? Loyalty is important to me, bro, because I've been burned recently. I just got robbed, the, not robbed at gunpoint, but like somebody stole from me out of my house. And I think loyalty is important and it's hard. And and I, as I'm navigating through this business and like now that everything is up and the money is crazy, I'm like, I'm like trying to catch up with it all. Like I yeah. find myself trying to catch up with it all. And the people around me keep me grounded. I travel with the same people. I have the same people in my house. My employees have been with me from the beginning yeah, for the most part. Point. Yeah, loyalty, I think. Loyalty. Because cool. respect, what is that? Like, niggas don't really respect niggas nowadays. It's like, what can I get from you? What can you get from me? Right, right. It's this transactional thing going on. When really, if I fuck with you, I literally, right. wholeheartedly fuck with you. Like, just calling Cardi right now. Right. Like, I want to see yeah, her here. And I'm going to like make sure that I get her here because we all win. Right. And right. and when she told me the other day, when I told her I was doing your show, and she right. said, yo, I don't, I don't know if they fuck with me. Like, I'm like, yeah, Nori is like the nicest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And She's by the wild. way, shout out to Nori's wife. Can we get this show sponsored by the Juice Bar? Yeah, because it is. It is. It's, a part yes, of the, yes, yes. it's a part of the show. Oh, by the way, speak, speaking of Juicy that, Juice Bar. Yeah, that juice the, was good as the shit. The other day, the other day, you, you you hung out with me. Thank you, by the way. Thank you for pulling up. Yo, and hanging Nori's out. a fucking Nori's bring, a fucking setup, bro. Bring up the James Cruz, but you said something to me that I didn't actually notice. You said, "Man, you got all these rappers around here, right?" And what I didn't notice is that's like who I actually be around. H have you ever like? Been in a situation where... No, 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 no. <laughs> right, so James Cruz says, uh -huh. come over to this this uh, the, this address with Nori right now. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to the juice bar. Oh, shit. I'm going to put my little workout outfit on. I'm going to go to the juice bar. <laughs> and the juice is great. I pull up. It's Russell Simmons, <laughs> Benzino, right, right. fucking Ja Rule. I'm like, yo, this is Source Awards about to get shot the fuck up. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not about to stay here. Like, no, like I'd be paranoid. What, what, Baller yeah. alert, shout out yeah. to Robin pulled up. Like yeah, you yeah. like, but it was so cool. Someone around me, I'm a different type of dude. But no, but the thing know, I love like, about you and well, and I hope, and let me give you your flowers real mm-hmm. quick, because mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you I hope you realize like how important you are to the culture and that you, you are a, an icon and people respect you. Right. And when I look at what you built, the, the table that y'all built and the right. table that you're giving to people to be heard, because I sat in a room with Kanye and yeah. Big Sean talking about this show. Wow. And I watched the conversation happen about both interviews that you that they had here right. and how they both loved each other and respect each other. And Kanye said, I don't take back nothing. I said, you know, wow. I don't take back nothing I said. And, and, and Big Sean was giving him his flowers and having the conversation about all the things that were important, but that all came to a head on this show. Right. Wow. So I want to give you your flowers too, because you, you, like hold on, hold on, hold on, time out, time out. Thank, thank no, you. No, let's do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But hold on, hold on, hold on. You, just, you, you definitely just lost on us. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you was at that. So Ye session? text me. You know, all he do is text the address. Yes, he don't. Yes. Te- this is what you and Ye got in common. I'm not <laughs> yes. fucking with either one of y'all. <laughs> one word. And I told him I was coming up here, and he just did an exclamation point. <laughs> right, right, I'm not fucking with either one of you because y'all are set up. Y'all both love this shit. No, I can't. You remind me of Ye. Too. So, Wait, so I, so and, and I'm going to tell you, there is an intersection with me and him, and that's uh-huh. why I think yeah. I relate to him so much, right. because both of us have been counted out and don't uh-huh. give a fuck. Right. But this is what I will say about both of you two. Right. Y'all two be creating situations that right. you don't tell nobody what they're walking into, mm-hmm. but they're going to be important situations. And you're going to be all right. And you're going to be, be all right. right. So the, hold on, let's describe this Big Sean Kanye meeting. Yeah. So he sends you an address. So he texts me an address, and mm-hmm. I said, I got friends in my house, because, you know, it was late at night, I was tired, and I didn't really want to go. Uh-huh. But because Ye, you know, Ye, t- can I just say to all the haters out there that don't like Kanye West, he's yeah. fucking Kanye West. Nah, he's ill. Like, he is fucking, he is an important part of our culture's fabric. And if right. you look at his documentary, you'll respect Crazy. the yeah. fact that, He like, believed who he was back then. He knew who he was. his mama he knew was he- his biggest fucking, yeah. she was Jesus. That parable when she said a giant doesn't see himself and said, yo, you can be in the air and on the flat floor at the same time, that shit summed up my whole life. And when we went to the we went to the premiere the other day and when I saw his mother and him talking yep. and how he behaved in front yep. of how he was uh, how he shrunk in front of her. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, that's that missing piece. Yep. That's why everybody online attacking me saying, oh, you signed with him, he this, he this, he this. I'm not going to be the nigga y'all want me to be. I'm not mm. going to be the tool to destroy him the way that right. y'all want me to because mm. I see him in the uh, proximity changes my perception. Right. I'm a little closer to him than all of you, so I see right. him differently. Yeah. If you don't want to receive him that way, then you're everybody that don't want to receive me that way. Right. But, but back to this situation, he texts me an address, so I huh. pull up with my friends, and uh, it's a lot of rappers. It's Fivio, Wack, Game, Marilyn Manson. It's a lot Did going you on say here. Fivio? <laughs> is it Fivio, right? It's Fabio. Is it Fabio? <laughs> I love it. It's Revolt. <laughs> I, love it. I, love it. I love it. I thought I had some Wait, fucked up pronunciations Fabio? still. It's Fabio. We yes, say yes, shit yes. wrong here all the time. Yeah, we right. say shit wrong. It's junk listen. facts. You fit right in. Wait, but right does he spell it F I, though? Right? Yeah, but it's, it's, well, it's, it's Fivio. Okay, it's, Fabio. But, but he's a nice guy, too. Yeah, okay. he, he's still in the street, so I'm going to keep it cute. But he. <laughs> But so Fabio's there. Yeah, the guy behind me uh, laughing, like, what what I do? <laughs> no, so French Montana. So French Montana. Okay, so I get there. This is also the Source Awards, by the way. Right. Okay. So yeah. mind so you, you like the Source Awards. No, 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 no. Because I've been shot before. Oh, like I had PTSD, nigga. Like I've been but, shot by but. in like laying on the ground shot. Like, all these people be talking about, I'll take a bullet for you, nigga. No, no. you do not want to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I took one for a nigga, and that nigga should have got it. <laughs> right, right. And that's my brother. Okay? No, so... Li- <laughs> I wasn't ready. Yeah, I <laughs> no, so listen, so listen. <laughs> so listen, so... So, so I pull up, and it's clearly, like, Source of Wars 2022, right? And I'm like, mm-mm. And I usually have my gun on me because I'm a concealed weapons holder. I got a license for it, and I follow the law. By the way, um, anybody not mad, uh, mad at me about this interview... Um, I do call the police because I'm not no. in the streets. Like, no, you made that clear. clear. Yeah, yeah, a I'm, not, I'm not a street nigga. Like, yeah, you're, I do, not, you're, you're like, a civilian. F- I think I got the FBI here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so. Pharrell said the same thing in that same chair. Yeah. It's okay. Pharrell said, said the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pharrell did say the same thing in the same chair. But anyway, all right, so so I get there, right? And so they're like, Ye, well, Ye wants to see you. I'm like, okay. So I walk in the back and I walk in this room. They open the door and it, the lights are down and it's Pusha T, French Montana, it's Big Sean, and Ye, and me. And I'm like, I don't, I don't just, I don't need to be here. Like, whatever y'all four niggas is talking about, like, I don't want to know. You know what I mean? Cause, cause 
part of me is like celebrities get uncomfortable thinking I'm going to spill their tea. Right. But Ye is bringing me in like, fuck that. We're not right. doing it behind the scenes. We're doing it in your face. Right. Right. I'm like, yo, this is a different movement. I'm with it. Let's go. Right. But I love the fact that these two black men who clearly are both successful, who have a respect for one another, who, who were honest and purely transparent on this show, right. were able to get it off, but then come back together and have a respectful conversation. Right. And, and Kanye looked at him and he said, I don't take back shit I said about you. Wow. Wow. Everything I said, I mean it. And Big Sean said, and everything I said, I mean it. And I, and I, but I want to get to a place of healing. Yeah. and Right, but and they owned up to their shit. Though. Which is dope. Right. Which is and dope. they did it in a respectful way, but a very serious and honest right. way. And then we went and had drinks, and um, everything was cool. That's, That's cool. dope. That's dope. That's dope. I'm glad they worked But look out. at what this show is doing. I'm glad they worked it out. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. When, yeah, like, like, just like your interview, I, I, I see how you describe your interview. Ye just called me. It was like on a Thursday, and it was like, yo, can we film? You know, uh, you no. change it every time. The it day. was a Saturday. It was a Saturday, Saturday. and we did it on and Sunday. It was like, yo, because right. I filmed 10 a.m., and it was like, all right, cool. I act like I had it all together. Look at these niggas. These niggas gonna work out at 10 a.m. Like, come on. That was the so, earliest drink chance. That was the ever. earliest drink chance. No, 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 Timberland. Sunday morning, seven. No. Seven, seven in the morning? Tim Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Wait, wait, First of all, we don't do Sunday morning. Yo, yeah. can I, can I, can we well, say? Where was Timberland? Timberland and Swiss. That was an early one, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Can we say something to Ye about this yeah. 7 a.m. Yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, I love the early in the morning. No, this Do guy, he texts at 5 in the morning every no, no, day. I'm, I'm an early in the morning dude. I'm a, so anyway. Well, I, I don't have his number anymore. I have to I, communicate I, you to know, the I got you. I got you. I got you. So let me just tell you something. Let me tell you, let me tell you what Ye taught me, being that we talking about Ye. This is the best thing he, he taught me, was freedom. Like, you know, you got this money and you could do what the fuck you want and you could buy what the fuck you want. I thought that was freedom. Freedom really is doing what the fuck you want, when the fuck you want, and how the fuck you want to do it. Like, we was literally just hanging out, and he would just be like, y'all go on there? Can I come? And I'd be like, don't you got to go on a private jet? Like, like, don't you got to go fly away? And he'll just do whatever we were doing. And that shit, to me, was was something that I didn't know. I didn't understand it's freedom. It's empowering. Yeah, I didn't understand right. freedom. So that's why when you see him in Belize with Sean, and, and like, I can literally tell you that that must have happened, like, 20 minutes before, like, let's just go to Belize. And he was just like, fuck it, I'm in. Right. And just went, like, to me, he said that was the real, uh, what you said? That was that was the what was that was what was pure about DMX too. Yeah. Was DMX had freedom? Like DMX would just go. So that's the, the beautiful thing that he that he, he taught me. And let me add to this. So when we were talking about Black Future Month, because it's Black History Month now, mm -hmm. right? And and I think the thing that people don't understand about him, which I'm sure you guys do, because you've sat with him, right? right? Is he thinks very abstract. It's not linear. It's very right. like he sees it at all. And it is a, multiple a, thought patterns. Multiple thought same. patterns, right. and he's ahead of our time, right? right. right. So and we, I'm gonna give him his credit as a genius. But one thing yeah, that he I, said to me is. He said, Black History Month reminds us all the time. Every year, this is the month where they remind us about the lynchings and the slavery. And this yeah. What we doing to invest in the future? Let's yeah. do Black Future Month. Yeah. We're not going to discard the past, but we need to focus on the future. And so we're, I'm talking to him about this. I'm like, yo, you know what? I love this narrative so much. We got to get all the people in the room. Right. He said, well, what you want to do? I said, let's do the Black Future right. Brunch. Right. Mm. I'll bring in the 50 of the of the most powerful people in media that look right. like us, that right. tell our stories from Vogue to right. uh, Vanity Fair to Shade Room to uh, right. Forbes and Hollywood Unlocked. And let's ho Billboard, let's host them. He didn't want to do it in two weeks. He didn't want to do it in a month. He said, yeah. let's do it this Sunday. Yeah, there's a sense of urgency with him, too. I'm like, what? I love that. That's freedom. Yeah, but, that's but, freedom. I, but then I'm like, okay. That's money freedom, though. So I put <laughs> us all together, and then we have this amazing event, and he sits at the table, and he hears everybody out, and he shares his perspective, and we have this powerful exchange that's turned into a movement that I hope, hope, hope you guys will become a part of. And you also said something uh, in an interview recently. You said that there's a lot of things that he does that you don't agree with. Of course. I'm never going to support Trump. Uh, I'm never going to yeah. publicly support Trump. There's nothing Trump can do. I don't give a fuck. Again, no, no disrespect. If Jesus came down and said the only way into the gates of heaven is if you hang with Trump, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to hell. Like, I'm, I've been burning my whole life. Not, I'm not chlamydia. I only had that twice. I'm going to be fine. Be fine. I'm not fucking with Trump. But I also know that I've had an interview with, with Kanye where he's apologize for the red hat. So I've seen both sides of it, right? Um, by the way, I'm not a Biden. I don't fuck with Biden and them right now. You don't fuck they, with Joe Biden? I mean, what are they doing for <laughs> Joe Biden? I mean, Joe Biden. I mean, we passing all these bills. Where's the anti-lynching bill? Right. 
I mean, there's no anti but But anyway, uh, no, but what I like about Ye is that he really is, what he says, he does. Yeah. I say to him, yo, we need to do X, Y, D. Put me in a text with yeah. the president of Adidas. Put me in a text with the president of Gap. Put me in That's a text crazy. with people to find out how they're spending money in our community with our media companies to tell our stories. And I just feel like he's one of the very few people at his level who, when he say he's going to do something, he actually does it. Yeah. Hey. I'm taking a shot for that. I'm yeah. taking a shot I'm for in. that. Well, My eyes have got low. I'm yeah. just going to... Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just, but I, you might want to take these glasses off for this one. Okay. Cheers, 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 cheers. Because this show is a pure setup. Because Dale, drink your shot, bro. Oh, 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 oh Dale, cabrón. Dale, dale, get tu puede, bro. Dale, get tu puede, bro. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, some good ass Japanese whiskey. I wanted to take a shot with James Cruz at some point. He's gonna come back. Shout out to James. But the Melissa Ford situation. Yes. Now. Is it a situation? No, it isn't a situation. Is it a situation? I'm gonna. The, the reason why now, I, I love Melissa enough to pay attention to every word. So I want to be very clear. I don't see it as a situation. Okay. And I don't, don't want to label it, it a situation, situation because I had a certain level of love for her that I've never given to a lot of people. I don't. Latifah's gotten it. She's gotten it. Cardi has it when it comes. And Rihanna has it. But like in terms of industry females, there's not a lot that have got it. Claudia Jordan had it at one point. Uh, Melissa was like, uh, I loved her a lot. You know, I cared about her a lot uh, as a friend. We're no longer friends, but that's okay. That was her choice. I just, you know, it is what it is. The rumor is, yeah, y'all working together. Y'all got this show. Show was lit. She gets into this car accident. She doesn't return to work, Mm -hmm. but she's outside. Outside. Outside, outside? What does outside mean? You know what outside means. You know, you drive like by. She was outside. Like, she was coming out. She was going to clubs or certain things, but saying oh, that she... outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. But saying she is... Saying that she wasn't... I'm asking. This is the rumor. This is not Nori's news. This is not Drink Chance news. Nori news. <laughs> Nori news. That should be a segment. That should be a segment? I like Nori that. News. Nori okay. news. Okay. But is that what happened? Because you guys got this show. It's popping. And then this accident does happen. Am I correct? So can I back up a little bit? Yes, Because I want to be very respectful of the situation. Because there's a history here, right? Okay. Uh, Melissa and I became friends a long time ago. And just as friends, I would go to her house. This was when she was living in New York. And she uh, welcomed me into her life through a third party. And I just loved how she was just, she seemed like a real chick, you know, sexy, funny, smart as fuck, beautiful, all those things, and fun. I didn't really know about all that, okay. but I found out later. All right. Um, and that didn't matter to me. <laughs> Y'all said it in a weird way. But, like, yeah. mm-hmm. well, you know. but like, she was cool. And then to the industry, to hip-hop, she was Melissa Ford, you know, right, whatever. Right. And I knew who she was. But we be, I became friends with the person, not, not the video girl. Like, I don't give a fuck about the video girl. I don't care about, you know, I know all the video girls. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about their occupation. I, I care about people. So we, be, we built a friendship, and our relationship was so good that when we would talk, it would be hilarious. I was like, yo, this is funny as shit. So when I got in Love & Hip Hop and needed to create a, a, a platform where people could see me, because I feel like Love & Hip Hop will literally create an image of you that may not be you. Right. Right. Or do things in a way that you don't agree with. So I'm like, yo, I need to create a platform of my own where people can see who the fuck I am because I'm much more than this show. Yeah. Once I did that, I, was, I, I came up with the idea. I was like, yo, I got to have Melissa Ford on it because the way we talk, it's just no pressure. It's natural. Mm-hmm. It's natural. Like, we don't need notes. We don't need mm. prep. We don't need production. Mm-hmm. We just need to turn on a mic and talk. And so when I called her, she had just moved back to L.A. Mm. She had just came through the lawsuit with Bravo where she would hit in the head and she got a check. And she didn't have nothing else going on. Mm-hmm. Keep it 1,000. And I didn't have nothing else going on with Love & Hip Hop. Love & Hip Hop don't pay shit. So I was like, okay, let's do this podcast. We don't know how we're going to get the money, but we're going to start a podcast. Let's just talk our shit. And we did. And the show just took off in a way that we had never imagined. So while the show took off, we were also trying to figure out how to make money because we weren't making money doing the show. We were doing it on Dash. Yeah. DJ Ski and them don't pay yeah. no money, right. but they give you free infrastructure, right? Shout right? out to Dash, though. Yeah, so yeah, I fuck with them, yeah. yeah. So I started bringing my guests in, and we became the biggest show on Dash, but we started, like, getting crazy numbers online. So I built Hollywood Unlocked. Now, here's where the real problem started. Mm. I own Hollywood Unlocked. On this show, she said she was the most famous person when she came on the podcast. She's the same person on the same podcast that said fame is a drug, so she must have smoked some before she came and talked her shit here. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about fame. Give me the fucking money. Mm -hmm. All I want is fucking money. If I walk down the street right now and a nigga don't know me, I don't care. But guess what? That motherfucking cash app, that PayPal, and them wires happen all day, every day. I got a million dollars last week. 
right. one wire. So I don't care about fame. I don't care about people noticing me. Like that shit, she says she don't care about it, but she really does, especially when you were hot in the 90s, but you're not hot right now. Right. We live in the Amber Rose and the Carucci world. It's different. You got the, right. the Aries and the different girls online, the Jada Waiters who are fucking up the internet the way she used right. to fuck up videos. And I know that that's probably something she got to deal with. I've never publicly disrespected her. I'm not going to disrespect her today, but I want to add context mm -hmm. because the thing I... I, I consciously don't do is talk about her in public because that's a that's like that's like my neighbor in apartment 32. We don't live next to each other no more, so why are we even talking about each other? I don't well, talk to respect. I did bring you up, you know what I mean? You did, because that you is... did, but it was a couple things that happened, and I watched that video okay. probably 50 times because I'm a very much of a I'm very. Jeez. I'm, I look at no 50. <laughs> He's a sensei. He's 50. A sensei. I can tell you that the point of your video, I think, started at the 50 point mark in your video. <laughs> I, had my, I had my team <laughs> crop it and give me just that. <laughs> right, right, right. There was a couple nuances that I okay. saw. First of all, okay. you messy as hell, by okay. the way. You saw Mr. Green. Mr. Green? You, you met Mr. Oh, Mr. Green in that Green. video right there, the Dominican right there. Oh, listen. That was at the end of yeah. my part. Yeah. I was focused on my yeah. part. Yeah, she got, she got so drunk. There was a couple drunk. things that she happened. Got very drunk. No, we're not going to blame it on the alcohol because <laughs> last week I was drunk and got on the mic and was and, and Ken, little Kim was at my party and I was talking a lot of shit on that mic that I saw posted online, but I meant everything I said because mm. when you drunk, that's when you tell the truth. Mm. I give you, this shit give you courage. Mm. Shit, I got it. I feel like popping another bottle, goddamn. No, Come on, let's do it. No. <laughs> but let me say this. <laughs> yeah, finish, finish, finish your thought. I'm popping another bottle, goddamn. But let me say this. Today, and let me and let me say this, and I want to preface it with, I have a, a, a I have a, a ton of respect for what Melissa Ford did as a contributor to my movement, to my journey. She's been a part of that. That's she's gonna always be a part of that history. Okay, well, one second. Was that the beginning? Of Hollywood Unlocked? No, and no. that's the problem. Okay. I started Hollywood Unlocked from an Instagram and an idea. 2015, right? 2015. Mm -hmm. In an Instagram in 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 a in a in a, in a uh, studio apartment where I had an idea of what Hollywood Unlocked could be, what I had an idea of what the space needed, and I launched that with no idea where the fuck it was gonna go. I called Mona, I got on Love & Hip Hop. I did a lot of shit to get my brand out there. So Use the brand was already the solidified. The brand was solidified. Right. Mm. Right. Melissa was a caveat to that. But when she came here, she, she made it seem like because she was the most famous person, that meant something. Fame don't mean shit. Because she wasn't more famous than everybody we interviewed. She mm. never booked a guest. She never paid for production. She showed up sometimes unprepared and did her job and got her flowers the way she was supposed to. You know what I mean? The, all the shit she... So anyway, let me back up. Mm -hmm. When I saw her on the show speak on me in the show... There's a lot of shit she left out. Her and the co-hosts, when you manage a show, when you own a show, it's not just what you see on the video. It's what you don't see, right? Mm. Production, right. some people not showing up, co-hosts getting charges, co-hosts doing shit. It was all types of shit happening on my show that I got to keep front-facing. I got to be like, yo, it's Hollywood Unlocked. I'm Jason Lee. Yo, what's up? We interviewing so-and-so today, but you don't know behind the scenes. Right. It's all types of circus shit. You got to show shit. face regardless. So much circus shit right. going on, right? that I'm balancing two grown adults who got their own shit going on that's impacting oh, wow. my show, that's impacting my brand. One thing that I'm focused on that I'm gonna always be loyal to is I'm focused on quality over quantity. Who is my quality-based followership and how do I keep feeding them shit? If I have 100,000 fans who buy a $40 T-shirt, that's $40 times 100,000. Mm -hmm. You could do the math, you right? Same yeah, with views. Because everybody you don't online don't it. matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody watching this interview, mm -hmm. they gonna matter in terms of the click contribution mm -hmm. and the comment contribution, but ultimately what they say don't fucking matter to me because you're not stopping my bank account. Right. right. With Melissa, when we got together, you know, I really felt like we had something powerful, but I really felt like she didn't see the long-term opportunity. Good. We got... Meaning... Meaning that once we got the show, I told her, we're going to get radio, we're going to get TV, it's going to be a talk show, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be all of those things. Just got to put in the work. Floyd Mayweather was one of the early people to get on and sponsor the show. That's the podcast, correct? That's the podcast. Okay. That's when we didn't know That's how to crazy. make no money, because okay. Ski and them didn't have... No, yeah. yeah, we had, remember, when we started Drink Champs, I had a Dash Radio show before. So you oh, know, so That's you, when we recorded wow. the first Drink Champs. So wow. you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no money. Yeah, OG but Radio. There's wow. no money, but there's a platform. Right. And so... We knew that. And so Floyd started supporting the show, giving her money and me money, supporting us, right. be building this thing, because he believed in it after we interviewed him. And then, long story short, 
Hollywood Online kind of took off. I went on Wild and Out. I went on Love and Hip Hop. I started getting featured. The, 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 the headline in all of the pickup, the headline in all of the pickup, whether it was Vogue, Vanity Fair, TMZ, whatever, was Jason Lee, Jason Lee, Jason Lee. And I don't know how Beyonce feels with Kelly and them girls. I'm just Jason. I show up and do what the fuck you're I'm trying to say. Your show was like the Destiny Child. I'm just saying if Michelle don't come to work, Beyonce not going to give a fuck. The fans still going to come. <laughs> Cause y'all the destiny child. I'm Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even trying to be shady. I book the guests, I shoot the guests, I lead all the shit that make it go viral. I'm the person that puts sense into all the blogs, I handle all the press. I'm fucking Beyonce. And that's what it is. And I've never said that because And you I, own the brand, which is And I own the right, brand. Right. That's actually when she got into a car accident, no. I think her for her. Shout out, first of all, shout out to Moni Love. I love Moni Love. Moni, Moni I was so disappointed sister. in you because I only fuck with Moni because of Latifah because that's my girl. Like, I've known Latifah since I was 15. I'm 44 years old. I'm about to be 45. Oh. Oh. Moni Love has always been sweet to me. I've always been nice to her. I thought she was a little... She was a little... She was, she was, I know she, she was Melissa's sidekick in that interview, and I, <laughs> and I felt like she needed to... It was a little shady shit. Can I just say this real quick? I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I've been drinking, y'all, so blame okay. the show. You want another shot? No, no, no. Um, rip a No, no, no. Yeah. Rip a okay. I'm going to take it I was you. watching the show. Mm -hmm. I was watching the show when you asked her about Hollywood Unlocked, and Moni was like, oh, you... And then she was like, mm -mm -mm. They had already had a conversation with each other about me. To not and, talk about you? To not talk about me or about me, whatever. Mm. Like... I've never talked to Moni about Melissa, and I have, and I know Moni's. She had my number, and I got her number. But I thought like it was pretty interesting, the nice nastiness that was happening during that interview. Because, she, you know, although she said I'm loquacious and I am, um, I think there were a lot of things left off the table that if she was going to actually speak on the relationship, she should have spoke to. Like, let's get let's get, like, let's get through it. Let's run through it real quick. If you work at McDonald's and you get in a car accident, you do not get to take a year off. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm. But I gave her all the time she needed. There was an open-ended, like, do whatever. Now, mind you, we serve an audience. Right. If you serve French fries at McDonald's, your audience pulls up every day to that window wanting them fries. You don't can't... Matter, it don't matter if it's Sabrina there. They don't give a or, fuck who at the window. And there. them fries better have salt on them, and yes. they better taste the way them fries tasted the Yesterday, last time because yes. or you'll lose a loyal customer. So let's get to the point. She did not come back to work? When I think about Hollywood Unlocked, she didn't come back for such a long time. Okay. That wasn't even an issue for me. It was the issue that when she came back, <laughs> she had this revelation that she didn't own Hollywood Unlocked. Because mm. it's rumored that she didn't, she wasn't coming in saying that she was hurt. She was training with Hollywood Hino. Well, she was doing a lot of things, but I wasn't judging her healing process because I was giving her the latitude to do what she needed to do to heal. Okay. And I was making a lot of excuses for people seeing things online where she was out and about, but then also on a show that she was absent from. Going to Drake parties and shit like that? Doing whatever she chose to do in her social world. I, I be knowing when I hit it with you. Now, 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 now I know like when, I, when I'm on the but, point. But it, but it was that, but it was also the fact that I think that she just really took issue with the fact that I own Hollywood Unlocked and she felt that she had contributed so much that she should have owned some of it. Hmm. And I'm sorry, no. I own 97% now because I put 100% work in and have raised a little money to keep well, it Well, let growing. me be devil's advocate sure. to a little bit. For people who did think that she started with you. <clears throat> would a percentage of ownership, you know, you giving her a, a tiny percentage of ownership, would that would have rectified the situation and kept the show alive as the fans originally fell in love with it? Well, the show is still alive and the show is thriving and doing a lot better than it was then and the fans are still there and those that left, we don't care and those that are new, we love them. But um, you're lucky, but like like, like, like Joe Buttons, that, yeah, that's, that's an example. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not the best businessman. Right. You know, I'm a businessman and, right. I, and I'm not emotion, driven by emotion. Like, uh, Melissa's showing up or not showing up. Beyonce's still going to get on stage. <laughs> when Michelle falls down, she's going to look at her like, bitch, bye. She's going to keep dancing. <laughs> Because Beyonce ain't looking in the review mirror. She ain't looking to the side. Beyonce is focused on Beyonce, and Jay is in the background saying, Go, bitch! <laughs> like, let's keep it 1,000, right? Like, I'm not sitting here where I sit worried about what nobody's doing. If you my co-host and you want to act up, bye, bitch. Because I'm not her. Any of them. They say we the Beyonce podcast. We still got a TV show out of it. 
We still got nationally syndicated. We launched in 52 markets on iHeart in a show that I own and grew to 72 markets in a deal that I walked away from because I felt like, y'all niggas don't have enough money over there for me. Wow. And so, ultimately, she let her ego get involved. Now, here's the deal. She came back. The only reason she came back is because I brought April Jones in and we kept it moving and we got the show on Love & Hip Hop. It was like, yo, okay, we gonna keep April moving. Jones is... The girl who was dating Dr. Dre, who has a baby yeah. by Omar, who was fucking Fizz, who's now with Jeez. Tay Diggs. You know what I mean? That's hard to follow. Just saying. I, go, I know exactly who you're talking about. All right. So, so when I brought April Jones in, she hit me back like I missed the show. I'm like, well, the show misses you too. And I was tired of April because she had no perspective. She had no point of view and she was tired. She was lazy. She was like irrelevant, right? So I was like, yo, Melissa, at least she good talk. So I said, okay, cool, fuck it, Let, let's work it out. We gonna work it into my, we gonna work it into my storyline on Love and Hip Hop. I'm gonna fire April on camera and I'm gonna bring you back. And I didn't tell April, that's why she didn't like me, but whatever, it's TV, like deal with it. You'll cry in the trailer and I'm gonna be okay. Beyonce never thought about Michelle crying, are you crazy? I'm Beyonce, bitch. I'm so, Beyonce. So let's talk about the Love and Hip Hop. Wait, 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 okay. so I bring Melissa Ford back. Okay. From the dead. I bring her back. She's back on the show. Fans are happy. It's a storyline on Love and Hip Hop. They don't give her no lines, though, because she don't have no contract. It's my contract. It's my show. She's the more famous one, but I'm the more popping at the time. Right. So then I bring her back on the show, and it's not the same. See, chemistry. The chemistry, right. When the chemistry off, I don't give a fuck what these cameras do. I don't care how much alcohol y'all got. When, once the chemistry's lost, it's done. Right. The chemistry was gone. Right. We were just little. Because littles. it was all about business from that point on? Because I felt like she was back because she needed the show, not because she wanted the show. Mm. And we both were there because we wanted the show originally. Right, right. That's why it was special. Right. And she was amazing when she was there first. When she came back, she blamed it on the, 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 the accident, but I really think it's because I didn't push that GoFundMe account that her and Claudia Jordan came up with. I don't push folk GoFundMe accounts, so you know oh, why? Shit. Now, hold on. This is it. That's where you speak on me, you open up the door for me to talk about it. When Melissa was in a car accident, I was on stage a while and out. I'm sorry. I have a job. I have an obligation to MTV. I cannot walk off the stage. But I did walk off, and I called my team, and I said, Melissa was in an accident. Get to the hospital. I call my assistant, order her flowers right now, check in with her, let her know. I will check on her as soon as I get off the stage, but I'm at work right now. I cannot walk off. We're in the middle of a live taping. All right. Okay, so I, 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 sent, I sent my friend to her bedside to spend the night with her to make sure she was good. And I sent flowers and I called my co-host to send them. So I did all of that from Atlanta where I was taping while and out. When I got off and I called, I could not get in touch with her. The next thing I get is there's a GoFundMe account for $100,000. I'm like, I don't even share GoFundMe accounts as a practice because if I share your GoFundMe account, when your daughter needs everybody, it, right. when your family person, I need to share everybody's. You can't vet everybody's GoFundMe. And it's hard right, because right. then I'm asking people to pay money. For my, right. I, my fans, I love my fans. I don't use my fans. I don't even ask them to go fund me. Just buy whatever you want to buy and show up when you want. But if you don't, it's your choice. I, yeah, I get that. You know what I mean? So like Claudia launched this GoFundMe account trying to help her for $100,000. I don't even know what the bill amount is. I ain't seen no bill. I'm sorry. I cannot do it. But I'll give you money. She got mad that I didn't post a GoFundMe account. Mm. And let her, I dare her to tweet and post, because there's so many texts and emails that they don't, I'm the receipt king. Beyonce, don't do it. <laughs> and don't speak on me no more. Anybody out there speaking on me, I'm telling you right now, you open up the floodgates for me coming for you. So once <laughs> I didn't post the GoFundMe account. No, once but I, I did ask it. it, was, it was, no, okay. fuck that, Nori did this. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this, because, this, Nor, this Nori knows. Because, because let's be clear, let's be clear. Obviously, when you Google her name, um, y'all story pops up. So it's, it was to be fair. I didn't actually know anything. But go ahead, continue. I want Wait, you to but why not have her on your platform now? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Oh, he's saying that he won't have her on? No, no, no. no, no, no. I just, she, I'm just bringing up she, like he she said could, about Pete. Like, she could come okay. on, but let me, let me lay it all out because my yeah. fans have never heard this. Yes, yeah, please. That's okay. And they are listening right now going, bitch. Because uh, yeah. they've never heard it. Right, okay. They don't even know why Giovanni left, but that's in my next book, How I Stopped Giving a Fuck and Started Winning. It's almost done. Um, That's the name of the book? Yeah. Dot com. How I Stopped <laughs> Giving a Fuck and Started Winning. Okay. So, so when I don't post the GoFundMe, it gets really weird. It's like Jason don't support. Jason's not supporting. Jason got money. Jason will help you. But Jason's not posting the GoFundMe for $100,000 when I don't know the whole situation. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't get on the phone with me. 
Nobody would explain it to me. I didn't talk to Claudia, so I did not support the GoFundMe account. The relationship was never the same after that. Once she came on the show, the energy was so weird that me trying to get something out of a guest was, it felt like work. Nothing that I do right now feels like work. This doesn't feel like work. I'm having a great time. I, I'm enjoying God myself. Damn it. I, we are having a great time having you. Keep continuing. So she comes <laughs> back. So she comes back and I fire April. Boom. It works in my storyline, love and hip hop, so whatever. Then her mother dies. Her mother gets sick in the, or I don't remember if she died or she got sick. And like, again, like, I'm in both situations. I can't be the, I can't say, yo, you got a job to do. I'm just like, damn. Now the regular worker out there right now working at the hospital, I used to represent healthcare workers, right? You got what's called FMLA. You don't have a lot of time to leave when your parent die. You maybe got a week, maybe 10 days if your contract is good, but you ain't got a year, my nigga. A year? Like a year, I gave her all the time she needed. And the way she thanked me was an email saying I'm leaving the show because my life is going a different direction. Maybe it was the inheritance money. I don't know. Mm. Right. But you, you got your little money, and now you good, and you don't need to work. She unfollowed me on Instagram. She blocked my staff. Real fucking petty. We wasn't even checking for you. What are we going to do? How many back shots do we got to check for on your fucking Instagram? Mm. But I looked at it like, OK, cool. You want to be petty with me when you know how I play? Damn, but if I say anything, I'm the big bad wolf fucking with another black woman. So I left it alone until she came here and I was looking at it like, yo, even though she didn't really attack me here, she, she did a little nice nastiness to let it be known that there was some tea that she didn't really want to talk about. Mm. And that's her MO. I'm a straight shooter and she's very much a throw your rock and hide your hander. <coughs> so what I would love her to do is come up here and talk about how she and I had to carry the show when our third co-host did some foul shit that drove us to a point where we had to buckle up, where she knows how much of a hit I took online from the fans when they were doing personal shit in their lives when it was causing complications for me. Mm. The other thing that happened, too, that I thought was very interesting was when she did come back, she created her own podcast because she felt like she should have owned Hollywood Unlocked, but since she didn't, she launched I'm Here for the Food. And she had two co-hosts that were great. She fired one because she disagreed with her, because that's what happens in her world. If you don't agree with her, you got to go. Look at every girl she ever competed with. Got to go. Mm. Then the second girl, Blue Toulouse, she didn't really care for her because the fans loved her. See, on my show, it's not about who the fans love the most. I just want them to love the show. Mm. You can hate me. Every single comment can be like, go fuck, fuck you, nigga, suck a dick. I'll be like, okay, after work. I don't care. I'm Beyonce. <laughs> but if you love the show, we win. We all win. Mm -hmm. If you're the more popular, right. you win. The right. show wins. Right. She, she didn't like the girl. So when she sent me a note to quit and I had to find a replacement, all my fans were saying, you're a colorist. All you do is love models, pretty girls. We don't see nothing that looks like us on your show. We need somebody that holds us down, has our... And her co-host, who she didn't like, was Blue Toulousma, mm. a writer from the grill, a journalist with opinions, smart as fuck, thick black chocolate girl who stood firm in what she believed when it came to colorism and fighting the people who pushed that agenda. So she was the natural person for me to talk to. She was the first person I called. She had interviewed me, and she was the only option to replace Melissa Ford. She thought... You hired the girl I don't like. Some real remedial type shit because she don't think like a boss like I do. She thinks mm. like Michelle. Mm. So ultimately, the show kept going and then, oh, and then bam, we get the nasty... You caught that? Yeah, yeah. That was he bars. That was bars. I caught it. Then yeah. we got the nasty syndicated show partnership with iHeart where I own the show. Billboard. Boom. Billboard is talking about it. Billboard.com. Then boom. Fox Soul TV show. Money is crazy. We getting crazy money. We all million, millions of cars every weekend. All over TV. And where are you at? Sitting at home, pushing fucking photos on Instagram that you took with my photographer. She had a problem finding her own life. And when she quit, I hopefully believe that she found her own life. And when she unfollowed me, I was like, thank you, Lord, you have set me free. I can unfollow her back. And she is gone. And, the, and it's closed. They ask me about it every time I go somewhere. This is the last time I'm talking about Melissa Ford, because as far as I'm concerned, she's as dead as a lot of the careers we've spoken about tonight. I am not speaking on her no more, because she's irrelevant in my world. But the pettiness needs to stop. And I'm telling her, like, just go ahead and be happy. Like, find you a nigga, have a kid, and just, like, be you. But, like, leave me and Hollywood unlocked alone, because we are not thinking about you. She got awkward. So Not really. It just got honest. Right. Because, see, the thing she didn't do was be honest here. She could have. 
Like the whole her and Moni love thing. Moni, Moni said, I'm flying back and forth to L.A. She gonna keep draining your bank account to fly to her. I bet you she don't fly to you. She got mad at Floyd Mayweather because he didn't send her no money after the accident. Floyd didn't owe her that. Right. Floyd, you're not one of Floyd's bitches. So why was he supposed to bring you money? He's supposed to bring you money and a Birkin? That wasn't his job. Yeah. So I think the thing that we have to just be honest about here is that there was a conversation that wasn't fully had when she was here, and I wish she would have had it. And I would love to have it with her, but she didn't follow me, so I don't even know where she at this, these days, you know? <laughs> okay, so moving on. Got a couple more questions. So I'm moving on, but let me give you. What's, what's a great groupie story you got? <laughs> groupie? Yeah. Like with a celebrity? Whatever, whatever you want. Nah, I don't want to talk about groupie because I had one, but it was it was a problem. And I just let's just move on. No groupie story. Damn, you you already calculated it in your no, mind. No, yeah, I have to. <laughs> I tell you, I have to think a step <laughs> yeah. ahead. Okay. No, you know, like I'm not really into the groupie thing. Like if a person I meet starts talking about celebrity then I'm off it. Because, honestly, I'm just Jason. Like, I literally... The only reason I wore the jewelry today is because I know Peter Rosenberg broke ass was sitting at home watching this interview, oh, and I shit. had to let that nigga know. <laughs> I had to let that nigga know. No, you know because, I mean? you know, listen, this wait, is the way that's for Peter Rosenberg. I wrote this, I wrote, I read this shit for that suburban-ass nigga <laughs> who's a part of our culture. Yes. I don't believe you, man. Yeah, this for is him? all for you, Peter. So this is a question we ask all of our guests. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not drinking no more on this yeah, show. Especially male guests. This is yes. what we ask. Yes. Do you eat ass? Do I eat ass? Yeah. Shit, I ate ass last night, of course. Not, Goddamn, not last, night, last night. Last night. No, no, no. Yes. Listen. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Listen. <laughs> yes. I gotta go take a pee pee, guys. Yes, yeah, le- yes, yes. I asked Puff Daddy this too. I now, Daddy now, this too. now, yes. You know, the pro- the thing you need to start asking these males that come on your show is if mm. they get their ass eaten, because oh, that's, yeah, that, that's how we did. That's how I ain't gonna say his name. Jack Thriller, Trick Ch- Daddy had his legs up in the air. He, he, he's into that. That's a yeah, lot. Yeah, he's an eater booty gang. Huh? You know what's crazy? <laughs> I'm gay and I don't even be having my legs in you- the air. Like, I feel really gay when that happens. <laughs> Uh, oh my god! I'd be like, "Yo, this is real." Good. No, there are there is. There You're taking drink in different places, listen, man. Listen, no, listen, listen. There is there is a barometer of what gay. The fuck? There is a barometer. You even for me. Down, now you're gonna have gay people mad at you. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Don't go to the bathroom right now. You gotta, you gotta. I don't give a fuck about gay. Let me tell you about gay people. Being oh mad. my god! No, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I fuck with the LGBT community because I'm somewhere in the spectrum, right? Mm. But like. Can we get to a place, going back to canceling cancel culture, can we go back to a place where we just say reckless shit and don't give a fuck? Of course. Like, comedians need to be comedians. Dave Chappelle's one of the most brilliant people in the fucking world, and when he did his last stand-up, I did not understand why my community was mad. I feel right, like we just right. looking for propaganda to start right. a fight, right? And and I feel like we got to get to a place where hip-hop should be able to talk his shit, right. com- comedy should be able to talk his shit without us... They say it's yeah. generational though, like millennials are more sensitive. These niggas are sensitive gener- as fuck. They right. couldn't have existed in the nineties. There's right. no way. Right. Eddie Murphy Raw, like that's one of the most brilliant comedy right. specials I've ever seen. And I'm gay as hell. Like right. I'm gay as fuck and proud. <laughs> I'm gonna stand like, up yeah. since the first time that right. someone in that chair has said that on drink. Yeah, fuck, make no, some noise listen. for that, goddammit. <laughs> yeah. Because because there's not there's not a straight nigga in this room threatened by me because right. you want pussy you don't want what I want exactly right, and if you are right, a straight right. nigga and you want pussy because I got brothers who want pussy they're not worried about what I'm doing exactly don't care about what the next person's exactly. doing exactly. man unless they want it police right, right. Bad I'll police give it to them but like yeah. just at least put your agenda on the table yeah, don't right. play with me in politics don't be bad police and this is a new bottle of Ace I'm not I'm not fucking with no Nori this is champagne no this is not shot I'm gonna get I'm gonna take a pee piece guys. Yo, 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 this show. Let me just tell you something, and and this is real. And I don't mean to like say it like this, but I I want to address it head on. My friends are saying stop drinking. No, 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 no. You because you know why? If 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 there was a straight man here, you know, I would be doing the same thing. So I can't. I appreciate that. You know, I mean, I got this is the same thing. And and you my friend. Yeah. So fuck that. I'm going, I'm going motherfucking get you drunk. I'm good as much as I can. As much as I can. As much as it's allowed. And I'm getting myself drunk with with you. You get me too drunk. I didn't I didn't see production. Yeah, yeah, listen. It's gonna be a problem in this motherfucker. Okay. All right, but now, this is this is something. Cause when Nikki came out. Yeah, Nikki Minaj. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm calling him by first name. I, I ain't that cool. I gotta I gotta get my life together. Yeah. All right. <laughs> when Nicki Minaj first came out, it felt like you was a bob. It felt like you was down with the team. Somewhere along the way, I don't know if it, it, it was personal with you and her, or you had just fell in love with Cardi that much. What happened where 
you went from Team Minaj to Team Barty, and you ain't going back. Okay. Um, first, I was Team Lil' Kim because she okay. came out in an era where I was friends with Queen Latifah but saw female rap as one thing. Mm. And then you had Lil' Kim come who was just a whole different fucking beast, as you know. Right. And so I became a Lil' Kim fanatic early. Right. When Nikki, so then but this is not when you blog it because no, no, this was like okay. a kid, as, okay, you know, okay, 15, as a kid, okay. whatever, whatever, 16, 17. Then when Nikki came out, female rap was kind of dormant on radio or mainstream because it was just mm -hmm. men dominated. Right. Then when Nikki came out, it was like, yo, the resurgence of female rap. Like I, fuck, this I, Queen Latifah, right. MC Light, Yo Yo, right. Missy, Nikki, Nick Kim, Nikki, like yo. The resurgence of female rap was sexy to me. Right. Because she was like, she was on these niggas' heads. Right. Nikki got bars. Nikki's right. a phenomenal artist. Right. She's an icon in her own right. And I was a fan of her music, and I'm still a fan of her music. Let's be right. very clear. I still right. listen to Nicki Minaj. Right. What I did not like about Nicki, as I've said before, is when she fell out with Cardi, she made it a personal thing. With with people with everybody, okay. Releasing phone numbers, I try to piece it up with those two because Cardi's never, still to this day, talk bad about Nicki. Right. We ain't hating over here. We right. trying to keep it moving. Right. But it was. Well, you were on Team Nicki. At no, that time. I I was never a Barb. Let's be okay. very clear. Those right. those those people are sick. Like okay. they they literally they right. literally are no right. no they're literally chemically imbalanced sick mm. people. Cult ish. Mm. Cult. This chain right here was created from a barb attacking me online in D.C. When he was like, oh, you're taking a train? Because I was speaking at Howard University. Oh, you're taking a train? Oh, gagging, gagging, gagging. I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm going to show you gagging. I created a whole show called Gagging with Jason Lee. And then I got this chain just to keep putting it in their face, right? But What does gagging mean? I don't understand. Gagging, <laughs> gagging in our community uh, means oh, like... Like, oh, there's uh, different meanings for it? Yeah, so like in the straight community, that's like a bitch sucking on your dick or something, right? right? In our community, it's like, oh shit, like damn, like I'm surprised this nigga, like he ain't got no money, like I'm shocked. Oh, like wow. I'm shocked. Like it's That's like, what it means? Uh, yeah. Okay, so with Nikki, I've never hated Nikki. She did an interview, she did her Queen radio shit and she said that, she called me a cocksucker. Good. I'm like, how am I a cocksucker when your brother is on his way to prison for sucking mm. like... Well, for doing things with kids, like what, like, and I'm a person, like, I felt like it was a personal attack, so it became personal. Okay. That's the first and last time that I've ever been unobjective with Hollywood Unlocked, because it literally became a personal thing. It was less about okay. Cardi and her, it was more about me and her. Right. But I think we're in a place now where she recently reached out, and I'm now in a place in my life where I'm open to a conversation with Nicki Minaj. That's dope. Pub uh, privately and publicly, though, because right. it's not going to be a... Let's come together and be friends because I don't want to be her friend. I will never be her friend because I don't trust her. I don't think mm. she's a girl you can trust. She's one of those girls who she'll shake your hand, but she got a razor blade in her pocket. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. But I'm down to talk to her. But I've seen she's been doing press lately, and whoever she's working with now, they are helping her soften her image to where she seems a little bit more relatable. But I don't buy it. I, I think it's all a game. I think it's all a facade. And that's why if I do interview her, it has to be a real conversation. It's not going to be a radio run where she talk about Right. Uh, whatever the fuck her song is with uh, little baby, because I don't care about that. I want to get straight to like like no chaser. Let's get to the real shit. And I don't think she'll pull up for that. Let me ask you. Recently, it seems like Perez Hilton and Kanye has been going at it. Yes. Really? Yeah. And Perez has and personally he used to have beef with Perez Hilton. Has personally. <laughs> Attacked me without having any. You? Yes. Really? Yeah. Back in the days. I mean, you want me to call Perez? No, 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 no. We've got over it. We've big boy. That would be kind of funny if you called. Yeah, yeah. I have to tell you, but but I, you know, this is a separate thing. But it kind of felt like Perez was kind of like targeting Kanye, right? What do you feel? What What is your your perspective on that? Okay, and I'm gonna say this because I know I'm going on his podcast soon, and he's gonna probably use this clip. You know, I fuck with Perez because Perez was one of the few people that do what I do in my lane back mm. then, mm. Um, and he's known, infamously known, for photos where he has the dots and the script. You know, that's he, what he did. That's, I, that's what he did. To, that's what he did to him. Yeah, that's his thing. Oh, oh he he called me a douchebag. I yeah. didn't even know what a douchebag meant at that time. Well, that's his thing. Yeah. He writes on the photos. I was heated. The oh thing my that God. the thing that I'm put, here's the deal. I respect what Perez has done, and we have a relationship. Where I'm confused is when I got into a Karen Civil, Perez was the one person, one of two people who called me and said, 
just let that go because it's not even worth it. Like, stay right. focused on what you're doing because you're doing great. Don't even work right. out. But, like, with Ye, it's sort of like with mental health being a real thing and you kind of attacking him for mental health, it's right. almost like the insensitivity of Perez Hilton is back. Right. And maybe that's what he needs to do to continue to keep his thing buzzing. I don't know what his business model is, right? right. My yeah. business model is just say what the fuck you feel and what the fuck you think. And whether it's right or wrong, it's what you say and think. And right. it's with the times because I'm with the times. Right. But I don't know. I know that Ye has been posting him and then, right. you know, he's invited me on this podcast for the first time, so I'm sure it's about that. Right. Because this is what I feel. Like, you know, for me... Him being from Miami, him being of Latino. He's Cuban, I believe. He's Cuban. No, yeah. Yeah. I felt like, you know, when he, because there was a police report about me having a, a fight or some dumb shit, right? This was like, like almost like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And he just immediately was like, oh my God. Because the, the, the kid said that I said, you don't know who I am? That, this doesn't even sound like me. That's yeah, just not, that's no, not who well, I he, am. Yeah, nothing that was written. Nothing that was written. I was there. I was there. Like, yeah, nothing that was written sounded yeah. like me. So, all I felt was like, like the, the you know, because at the, this time I didn't know about blogs, I didn't know about all this. And all he did was just take what whatever the police report. Which, by the way, these kids had to say that because afterwards, after they arrested me, the police was like, "Oh, you know, that was Nori." So the kids obviously had to change their story and and say that. And then Perez quoted that as if it was me who did that, mm. and I took it so personal. And um. Okay, but that's why we have to be responsible when we report the facts, right? Yeah. Like we don't. That's why. That's what that right there is. Mm. Why I'm so frustrated with Peter, because mm. I do the same shit they do. Right. The difference is I don't have a booker making me interview somebody. People actually pull up because they want to fuck with me. Right. And I think that the, the challenge that I have is that people will throw a label on me to try to minimize me or categorize me because they are threatened by the fact that I'm moving up on their ass, right. and I'm self-made. You know what I mean? Right. And so I think with like Perez. You know, I really didn't... I don't know where he's coming from with Ye because it's pretty right. interesting. But again, right. it's all proximity. He's not close right. to him, so he's not close right. to the situation. Right. And he's on the outside. But still, making fun of mental health, I think, is lame. I got my yeah. own mental health issues. Right. I went through my own battles of depression, you know? Especially when going through the process of losing weight. I had to fall in love with myself again. And shout out to Tiffany Haddish, who was the person that helped big me... Big up Tiffany Haddish. Figure that always, out. Always and big, we would big. like her on Drink Champs yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah I'll tell her. Yeah she, was, yeah, she was one of the people that helped me fall back in love with myself. So, like, mental health is a real thing. So I don't think it should be joked about we've never made one joke about mental health or right. drug addiction never right. it's just not right. something we do nah that's real shit man that's real shit um, so it's the last question we wrapping it up sure how do we fix it with Karen Sybil we understand we don't this next question is that it <laughs> no we don't but I will say this is okay. the absolute entire last interview conversation I will ever have about that name okay. I wish Karen the best um, I think that Although we're not suing her because time, uh, the statute of limitations has run out, and, and honestly, chasing her down with the FBI and trying to put her in prison would be a full-time job. The industry and the, and the culture knows what she is now. I've talked to heads of labels, heads of organizations who've seen her and seen it all unfold. I don't need to do any more damage. I want her to live her best life. I know after she went vegan, she had iron issues. Take your iron pills. Live the best life you can. Just stay out my motherfucking way. Like, yeah. as long as she ain't in my way, I don't care. The next time she get in my way, I'm going to take in her and anybody all the way right. the motherfuck out. Right. Because that's what Beyonce would do. Right. Or John Gotti. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm not looking, I'm not counting nobody's money. Right. I'm not looking at what nobody's doing. Like, I'm just not checking right. for nobody. I'm literally living my best life right now, doing what makes me happy. And, and, and I'm not saying I'm a victim. I'm not because people could say, oh, well, you write all these stories and you deserve whatever you get. That's fine. But like, it's sort of like when you get in the Floyd ring, in the ring with Floyd, you know right. what you're going to, in, right. what's, what's going to happen. And I'm fine with that. But I don't have a problem with her. I'm not her friend and I don't support her, but um, I definitely don't want to really discuss her. Yo, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to take a shot to get out of here. And oh then you guys do it. Let's take a you, shot. You gotta, come on, yeah, man. Come on, take no. one last shot. One, month, and one listen, more to listen, go One last shot. Yeah, yeah, because listen, man, this is about you celebrating you. We wanted to give you your flowers. I can't wait to see this come out. You are first know. openly, you know, gay well, I'm, I'm man. not the first gay. I'm the first not the, not the first gay. I don't think man, so. Man, that list, if he pointed out, people would be bad. Yeah, I don't want to give you the list. Yo, yo, I don't can somebody in production just send me the list? Nah, nah, nah. We don't even want to go down that road. Yo, this is to you. Motherfucking cheers to you, bro. Yo, salute, man. Jason motherfucking Lee. Jason motherfucking Lee. Take pictures.
Take pictures and a couple of drops and then be good. Absolutely. Yeah.